I've been watching church live streams from home. Is it the evangelical ones or is it like just no, Catholic? No, the evangelical one. No, I'm watching Catholic church oh, live streams. You're watching the C-SPAN of religion is what you're watching. Yeah, well, the C-SPAN. I, you know what? I guess that's a fair comparison to be well, honest. Well, dude, if you. you look at the evangelical ones, they've got a fucking rock band the whole time. Like they say, like every that other every other yeah. word they're playing is sting. <laughs> that shit's that fucking is insane. Awesome. I would never, I'm not into that type of stuff. I'm more into the religion that like sends children away on a boat. Yeah. You, you and know. I were really raised on a religion where going to church just meant being cold for an hour. Whereas yeah. some of the people in the South were raised on a religion where you could very well like pregame mass and that would yeah. be like a good time on a Sunday. Yeah. You drink a couple of cups of Jesus's blood? Oh, swagger. Go. Sweat, wait, what the heck? What the hell, how'd you get hey, in here? I've been, I've been listening to this beautiful conversation the whole time. My, oh my fellow God. Catholic. Oh my Pick God. Hey. Son of the Holy Spirit. How are you, buddy? I'm good, I'm good. You ready to send some kids to war? Boy, am I ever. Woo! Welcome to Chuckle Sandwich. How are you, Swagger? It's been so long. This is your third is. appearance on the pod. It is my, my third appearance on the Chuckle Sandwich Podcast. It's a pleasure yeah. to be here again. Not a lot has changed. <laughs> Ooh. <clears throat> um, yeah, no, I mean. It's a bit of a damper on the room now. Yeah, I mean. Not, not a lot has changed in all of the best ways. You guys are stunning. Thank you. You're thank beaming. You. You're uh, flourishing. You. You're in your lane. You're moisturized. Oh, yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's it feels like it better. feels like I no no you haven't you haven't looked this good ever. Thank you, thank you so much. I mean, we're so glad to have you on. I will say it was a bit of a it was a bit of a challenge to get Swagger on the podcast. It was. It we was. you know I I live in Australia. Yeah, I live in Melbourne. This is the latest that we've ever recorded a podcast because like right now for for me right now it's almost eight p.m. in in California time. And right. for you, it's what, like 2 p.m. tomorrow? Yeah, <laughs> it is 2 p.m. tomorrow. Luke said his watch. Yeah. Yeah, dude. So, um, but we're, we're happy to finally have you here. Um, no comments, please, about about scafism or waffle stomp. I think dude, we're past that dude, as a podcast. Dude, oh I forgot God, that's dude, what we that, talked that's, about. That was <laughs> all of the material I was going to bring was, to the table today. That, that was, was the gone. whole thing. Man. Dude, more, just the new episode title is just more grotesque more, medieval torture yeah, mechanics with just, swagger yeah. sauce. <laughs> yeah, dude, just, just having an awful time, <laughs> having an awful conversation yeah. with swagger souls. You ever heard of the beating wheel? The what wheel? Oh, the beating wheel. They Man. strap you to a wheel, a big wooden wheel. They yep. turn it around, and everybody crowded around the wheel and would take yeah, turns yeah. beating you with a stick, just whacking you, Dude, yeah. just whacking you, going on, you going on a wheel. I love that. Yeah. You're right side up. You're getting hit. You're upside down. You're getting hit. Yeah. Yep. It's it's like you're, you're the left, wheel you're of right, mythicality from GMM. They spin you and then they beat you. Yeah. It's Rhett's special friend. <laughs> <laughs> Someone literally reinvented the wheel in the worst possible way. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of fucked up too I don't because understand you it. know they didn't need to have it be a spinning situation. They could have just kept it simple and just put held some guy somewhere and just beat the shit out of him. They had to they, spin they him. probably they probably started it off with the dude. They're like, all right, sit there. We're gonna chain you to this chair. We're gonna hit you with a stick. And then they did that maybe dude. like five or six times. And they were like, this is fucking. They're like, this is fucking boring. <laughs> how can this we make so this boring. better? <laughs> they're like, how do we make this more entertaining? And then some some fucking genius was like, no. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Turn that to 360 <laughs> degrees. You ever seen a clock? Why don't we put a person on there? <laughs> Honestly, one of the more genius torture methods. Yeah, you know? really. All right, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we really doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're doing it again. I guess we're doing it. We nothing's changed. Nothing's changed here on the Chuckle Sandwich yeah, podcast. Yeah, for real. Holy shit. I we probably, just don't have anybody holding us back now. Well, you know? we don't. We That's don't. the only difference. We we do have. I will say That's we true. do have. I was gonna say there there is a change. Yes, we do have. Um, we do have Tucker here on the podcast. We didn't have yeah. him last episode with Tommy. 
<laughs> was that you just now, Tucker? Did you just go, yeah. yeah well, that was Tucker. That, that was, was that awesome. Was what a way to... That, that, was a, that was a Tucker character. Dude, I love that. Um, but we got Tucker back. We didn't have him for the for the Tommy episode because, you know, Tommy was like, I don't know who this guy is. He makes me a little nervous. Is that really yeah. what happened? No, no, that's not at all what happened. It was because I, I was at school. Yeah, it was a school day for you. Tucker's Tucker's still in college. So. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, it's adorable. Yeah, you're. Uh, you're. <laughs> it's not like said, li- said school, like a perfect influencer. I'm so, I'm so proud of said you like a still... fucking perfect rich what, what influencer. You, oh, that's what, so what cute what you, that what you, you're going to get oh, an education. What are you? Oh. What are you studying, Tucker? Gender <laughs> studies? Yeah, obviously. What are you studying? No, no, for real though. What are you actually studying? What are you, you putting in the work? Yeah, environmental science ecosystems. Oh, dude, oh. yeah, they're, they're gonna need a lot of you when the fucking when everyone finds out you'd be needing two credit cards worth of plastic. Yeah, about thirty yeah, years all ago. The microplastic, <laughs> all the on the fucking all the all. Yeah, dude. Are, are you making reference to the microplastics they found in women's breast milk? No, but I didn't even know about that. Yeah. I gotta, I gotta trim down on the breast milk, dude. I'm gonna die. <laughs> not, I'll turn no, into a not Kendall. that it's a, it's a fucked up situation. They're finding little tiny pieces of plastic in women's breast milk, but Swagger it's a needs to reduce his breast milk consumption. I can't drink any more breast milk. <laughs> which You've is got fucking enough awful. microplastics in you, though. I mean, like at this point, who's really too concerned about it? I feel like I have more micro metals in me. Yeah, yeah. You, you probably you wear yeah. that mask. I wear the mask or the with the chain mail. I I vape. Yeah, yeah. A lot of rare earth elements. You know, collecting it, in my lungs. Have you ever heard of the uh, the lucky fish thing? The boiling lucky fish. Do you know what I'm talking the about? Boiling, the boiling the boiling light. I've heard of a boiling frog. So what the fuck are you talking about? I, it'll make sense in a second because you're probably getting a lot of uh, you're probably getting a lot of iron extravenously. Is that the word through your skin because you're wearing that that chain shit on you. There was uh, like a study where they tried to make this, I think it was in maybe Singapore, where they promoted this metal iron fish that you would uh, you would boil when you were making food so that you could get iron into there. It was for people with anemia that were like, I guess it was specific oh. to people that had an, a specific to iron deficiency. Right. Yeah. So you're, you're doing that shit, man. You're, you're putting, you're getting your, plenty of iron in your diet. Yeah. I've never had a nosebleed. Ever fainted? Have you never had a nosebleed? No, never. except for the one uh, one time my my sister kicked me in the nose when I was like eight. Yeah, well, I that's a, blood all over the carpet. That's a manual nosebleed. That's not one that just shows yeah. up. I think uh, that is- no, yeah, <laughs> but, but yeah, if you count that as a nosebleed, yeah, my nose bled once. Yeah, um, it happened, and we'd love to make your your nosebleed here today on the oh. podcast. Because we're going to get actually pretty good at it. We're going to be He's, getting um, sexy for you. Yeah. Are, are you talking about beating the shit out of me? Or are you talking about anime? Yeah, anime. Yeah, we're going to be showing. Wait, you see, ass. you see a hot girl. And you go, wow! <laughs> yeah. And then blood gushes even, from your fucking nose. <laughs> yeah, it's like a fucking geyser just heading. Or over. yeah, or you see Naruto do the sexy jutsu. Oh yeah, the sexy girl jutsu thing. Yeah. That would only get one nostril leaking for me. But if he really? if he uh, if he produced a haram of them. Oh yeah, mm. or oh, harem. A harem. Did I see haram. You did. <laughs> <laughs> and well, Shala brothers. Yeah. So, uh, Swagger, we brought you here. You know, yeah. What's new with you, man? I feel like I mean. Well, as you can see behind me, my walls are still pretty much completely white, yeah, and they're gonna I, be I, like that. Your room is not. I fucking. Changed. No, well, actually, there's even less shit in here. So, a couple of weeks ago, I get a call from my realtor. Hey, how's everything going? And I'm like, yeah, it's it's good. It's nine in the morning. I just woke up. How can I help you? And she goes, yeah, did we get a, a person to come inspect your house like today at 2 p.m.? And I, and I just said, like, I'm thinking, yeah, I am busy for like the whole rest of the week. 2 p.m. would work. And so they come over to inspect the house. Dude comes around and he and he looks at it all. I'm like, why are you inspecting the house? It's just like a like a like just a normal routine inspection. And he goes, no, we're appraising it. And I was what? like, okay, okay, great. And then he leaves, and I get a call the next morning at 9 in the morning. Hey, hey, just giving you a courtesy call. Uh, you have 60 days to vacate the property. The owner's selling the house. Oh, fuck. And Wait, so I said, so did you and ha- so I said through, through clenched teeth, 
thank you so much for the courtesy. <laughs> and then I put down the fucking phone. <laughs> and, so nice and to now, hear your now, voice. Oh, yeah. Up, and so, so now, now I'm looking for a new home. I need to move Jesus. out in a month. Was your lease going to be up in 60 days or was it like this middle? No, of I thought I was, I was like, I was like fucking three days away from signing another six months on my lease. And the guy just said, nah, we're just going to sell the fuck, house. Man. Fuck you. Get the fuck out of here. That's kind of what happened it's, with my my last house in, in Austin. Um, it's it, annoying. The, the owner just decided to sell it. And it was in such a terrible state. But, uh, hey, you know, someone bought it. Doesn't help being being dislocated, though. Uh, so, no. I mean, so you're moving everything out? How much time? Yeah, you have 60 days. Yeah. So, oh. well, I have until, like, the end of next month. Even until the end of November. But I have a lot of shit to move. I got like two couches. I got like a bunch of shelves. Yeah. I have my computer, my other computer, two desks. I have a 300 kilogram bronze monkey nut statue. I have <laughs> uh, a Tesla. I have I have Wait. a ton of shit that I got to move. What do you mean you have a, a bronze monkey nut statue? You know, dude, I saw this great thing online. It was this 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 artist, this Italian artist. He was creating like these statues of a monkey. Right, like a giant chimp with whoa. with huge with with whoa, 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 whoa. huge Time golden out. balls. Time and out. you know me, you know how much I like monkeys. So I figured I might just drop some money on a, a little statue, and you know, it's a pain in the ass to move. How much was this statue? Uh, let me go through the receipts. You didn't actually, you didn't actually buy it, right? Like, are you are you bullshitting me? No. No, it's it's like there's it was, a monkey statue in your house. Yeah, it's in my garage. It's still in the in the crate. It is. Yes, it was thirty five thousand dollars. What, Ted? Yeah, I there was. A, are you be are you being genuinely serious with me right now? Yeah, because because someone bought the other one when that video came out. I noticed that that one of the listings was gone for the smaller statue. Wait, what video? I meant. I Ted, I'm going to have a conniption. Yeah, I'm no, going to have a conniption. My out. my neurons are hey, are frying hey, themselves. Hey, hey, they're calm they're down. fucking frying themselves. What's the big deal, hey, man? What's the big deal? Swagger, I made a whole fucking video on this monkey nut statue, man. I made a well, whole dude, fucking I, video dude, I, about I buying the ninety-five thousand dollar one with the table. I, I, dude, I I'll, didn't see it in my fucking the subscription box. I gotta, dude, sorry, I, you know, I gotta I, step I'll in be the first here to be admit, honest here. I don't it fucking watch thing. every you single one it? of your videos. You fucking yes, bought the other yeah, one. Yes, I did. It was and thirty-five you didn't grand. Me, you didn't tell me you bought it. Swagger, I need to step in here and say that this is a part of the big part of Slash identity. You have a fucking you have a you have the monkey nut statue in your house. Yeah, dude, and you have you have a fucking uh, statue of a monkey with, that holds a light bulb that I had first. You had that. You had that one first. Yes. What the fuck are you talking about? You've never you've never had a video about that. How was I supposed um, to know you had that shit? Oh, 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 oh yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, saw yeah, that shit yeah, on yeah, TikTok, yeah. dude. Fuck you. Show me the oh, show yeah. me the statue. Show me the statue it, with the with the big luscious nuts on it. It's 300 kilograms, dude. It's, it's in a crate in my garage. Well, so is mine. I don't know so how much mine. that is. I speak American. I'm sorry. It's like 600 pounds. Whoa. Yeah, dude, mine is in the fucking garage, too. I haven't yeah, taken so it out of the box. It's a big, yeah, okay. it's a well, hold big on, ass. guys. Everyone's allowed to use their garages for whatever they choose, okay? But hold on, Ted. It's not this. I know it's not about the garage, but oh, I just thought I would make that point. Fucking, I thought I would just are, make the point about the freedom of garaging. You were the fucker who bought the other statue? Yes. Audio Why listeners. didn't you tell me? We could have made like a, to. we could have made like content around that, bro. And we could I mean, have we, gotten views. I mean we we still can. I just have to I just have to oh, move it into my it's garage. It's been a year. It's been over a year since that shit happened. Yeah, you have the yeah. fucking monkey in your garage for over a year, Look. and you didn't tell me I'm the monkey ball guy. He is the monkey ball guy. I mean, this was a thing Look. that he Look. did, Swagger. Look. 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 Look what I got. It's a gorilla. It's, it's, it's a gorilla. It's a gorilla. It's a gorilla. It's a cyberspace it's the cord gorilla. Is, the cord is, is it's too far. I well, can't clearly, show the whole I thing. mean, what would... 
you know, clearly we're running into a bit of a, a bit of a problem here. I mean, because, you know, what? Swagger, you haven't been on here in a year. You know, a lot has happened in our that? lives. You know, How do you not tell me that? How the fuck do you, you not tell me I that? Mean, I, think well, that I didn't think it was a big deal. I mean, dude, dude, because here's the thing. Like, you know, you, you had your video, which, look, I honestly didn't watch. So I thought it was cool, but I, I, I was busy. You saw the... You saw the thumbnail, but you didn't watch it? Yeah, so I saw the thumbnail, and I was like, that's kind of cool. But but I had already, like, purchased this thing, you like, fuck, probably around the same time. And it didn't, it didn't, it didn't you show up to my, asshole. it didn't show up, it didn't show up to my house until, like, maybe three months ago, and then, then they got it. But it's, I don't know what the fuck to do with it. I don't know where the fuck to move it. I don't know what to do with it. I know. I don't. It's, I, you're gonna I need can't movers. take it out of the crate. You know it's impossible to move it. Can I, I need a fucking pallet jack. You know what I think is the most remarkable? Is that on one podcast, we managed to get two fucking idiots that will spend upwards of 30 grand on statues Shut of the monkey fu nuts. It's a fucking <laughs> cool fuck you, statue. It's, it's a fucking fuck sick you statue. You're fucking you just solid you're just brass. Mad. You can't afford it. It's you solid brass. The dude's bastards. in there. And he's solid brass. Solid brass on a... Ornate table, actually. That's okay. only I one think I'm I just want, gonna be you know? the voice of the people I here. You got the brass one, you got the brass one, but I got yeah. the solid bronze. I'm just gonna be the voice of the people Fuck here you. and say, Fuck I mean, you. you know, it's just uh, what should we should we, you know? Obviously, you guys are having a bit of a disagreement here. You know, Schlad seems like he's gonna you know blow his. How his do you key buy stick. the other one? I my whole wait, plan wait, with a fucking credit card. Swagger, dumbass. my whole fucking plan for that video was to buy all of them. And and I was like, well, who the fuck bought the one that's the 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 bronze one that I was gonna buy next? It was you. It was me. <laughs> yeah, it was me. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, it was me. Why and didn't you ever it, tell me? I didn't think it was because by the time I got around to watching your video, it was like a couple of months after the fact. I maybe had just gotten the statue, and then you know, I figured the meme was dead. I figured, like, there was no point. There's no point in even telling you. That is was, crazy to me. You know... I wasn't doing anything with it. I wasn't... You know, just sit in my garage gathering dust. I feel like it might be hole. important to bring in a mediator here because, you know, Tucker, you know, he's not... He doesn't have any biases here. We've got Tucker here that could solve this situation. I mean, Tucker... I'm so pissed. Tucker, I'm what is your so view on this situation? Are you really? The, the <laughs> only way that you could settle this is one of you has to commission an, an even bigger version of the sculpture. Oh my no, you think, I don't one. even need to do that. Look, Shalane, I don't know point. if this happened to you. I don't know if this happened to you, but the actual creator, right? The actual creator, the artist behind the Monkey Nut yeah. statue, uh, he created an NFT of me. He did? He created what? an NFT of me. He had an, he, I had an NFT made by him no, of me. Oh, no, yeah, sure you did. You're just copying me I did? Me at this what are you point. talking about? <laughs> just copying me at this point. He made the NFT of me with the, with the night helmet on as the monkey... Spinning around. How did what he you know you bought it? Because I paid him thirty-five thousand dollars. Oh my it's, fucking it's god! a large amount of money. I feel like that would cut ruffle some. That would that would. Oh my god! Some I'm looking at this right now. He made a version of the fucking. He made an NFT. Yeah, he made an NFT of oh. me, which would show oh you that is that is legit. Fuck. It's completely legitimate. I Dude, I got this monkey nut statue like like almost a year ago now. Slat, did you not get an NFT made of I you? No, he no, he made one of me. Best believe it, he made one of me. But what the? Sure, why did I not know sure. about it? Dude, the price of why this. Why did I know is, about why? The price of this itself is fucking five ethereum that's six thousand four hundred and sixty five dollars that isn't what's with all these people walking around the, the they're swagger appreciating, souls? They're, they're, they're appreciating the, the art and the form i am in awe yeah, that you in, never in, fucking in your, told in me your NF, in your nft chalet did were people walking around admiring yeah, oh, you people were walking around admiring me yeah sure yeah, they were. Buddy, he made sure. a couple of them actually why did I never? I'm actually so confused, Swagger Souls. Why did I not know that you bought the other fucking statue? I don't know. I mean, you never asked. <laughs> I'm losing it. I'm actually losing it. This motherfucker you bought the other statue. Yeah, it was. This is old news. How do you? <sighs> Look, Schlatt, if you want it that bad, you can come to Melbourne, Australia. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. You don't want it? <laughs> no, don't don't want want it? no. I haven't well, set mine up it. either. Our, our monkey statues are in you the sure same you? position they've been for, for a fucking year at this point, brother. They're still in the crate. I just, like, part of me wanted to take it out of the crate, but then I knew that there was no fucking way no, I could move it. Not. 
It's not like I need out. a I need a I need to like drill some wheels into the bottom of it so I can move it around. What was your initial plan for the for it when you bought it? If it's just sitting in your I suppose it's a question that could be aimed at both Schlein, of you. I mean, Schlein, if just, can you fucking believe him? Can you believe him? Can you believe this guy? He's he actually doesn't even have one. Body. We he bought it. Yeah, he, this fucking idiot doesn't have one. He, he I mean, amazing. if I had one. This is fucking hilarious. If, Look at the if, fucking nuts on him. Dude, if I had one, it'd be fucking sitting on my kitchen table. We wouldn't have any room to eat our food. It would just yeah, be a luck, giant good thing. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. What, 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 what kitchen dude. table? You got a crane? You got a crane? Uh, dude, I don't have so a crane. so unbelievably okay, heavy. Sure. Much, I don't have a crane, but I just have. How much can you bench? Listen to me. Why would he cast the fucking thing in? Why would he make it that heavy? I, I don't have a dude, crane, dude, but I've got a fucking know. Tucker who just hit it. his first recent PR dude, on squats, dude. He can lift a I'm, lot. I am so, like, beyond this, and I just want it, like, to be sorted. I'm, like, this close away from taking it to a public park, <laughs> dumping it there, and leaving. Well, just that's where the big one dumping is. dumping it there and leaving. Swagger, the, he made the biggest one that's literally, like, 10 feet tall. It is in a, uh, it's on a golf course. It's just sitting there. Oh, it's dumb. I'll find a yeah. golf course nearby. I'll dump it on there. He wanted me to buy it, too. How much, do, how much do you want you to buy it for? Yeah, for like over $300,000. But not only that, but it would have been how you fit in that fucking thing on a boat. Won't even fit in a shipping crate. You need it You need it like bubble wrapped up and sent on a freighter. Dude, there's a lot and of like, logistical is, issues. You're talking about along. half a million dollars. And then where do you, what do you do with it? Where do you put it? I mean, I would say that you you make a schlatt museum and you charge an absorbent amount of money and then also you know you've got like plenty of stuff like you could hire a bunch of artists to make various art about you and then you could also have uh. one of those little rooms where they've got like a fucking uh movie on loop playing where you've just got like interviews yeah. with yourself talking about the majestic nature of the king kong balls i think that'd be it's great true. Fuck, man. It, could, it could work i mean look it's just it's a it's a hassle it's annoying i have to move uh, and it's just a lie to to go on top of all the shit that I'm doing. I've been so tremendously busy. It's yeah, it's, it's really to? weird. Because I went through like two years of not really doing all that much because of COVID and lockdown. And now that that shit's all over, like, dude, Misfits is just pumping content again. We got like three videos filmed. Hell yeah, dude. I think we're going to tr try to put one out in the next week. Uh, and then another one out like right before Halloween. Damn. And then another one out uh, the start of next month. But all three videos are, like, wildly different from each other. They're all very unique. But they're all really, really awesome. They were they were fun to film, uh, besides one of them. One of them was anxiety-inducing, super stressful. It was like, and it took, like, a, a solid three or four weeks of just, like, nonstop work and talking to people and... Oh, this man, feels like the just... introduction, the introductory, introductory. Go on, yeah. The introductory. Schlappbots the... glitching out. This sounds like the introductory Are you portion of. Cum? What is that? <laughs> what are you talking about? What the fuck about? are you, are you drinking? About? <laughs> Put that up to the camera. What the fuck is that? What's wrong with it? It looks like a bottle of cum, Schlatt. Let but, me see it, dude. What? Dude, that's either like... That is that is like... Dude, what? You took a fucking trip to Flint or something? What is in that fucking bottle? What's wrong with this? That li it literally looks like cum. It's not supposed to be cum. Every it's like, dude, I swear. Why to, is it like? Why is it like a milky yellow? What are you drinking? <laughs> you like were you were talking about the fucking. I would just wanted a drink of water. Dude, it looked like the glob that I shot over my drain in the shower this morning. Holy shit, and he's chugging it. <laughs> oh, it's so good. <laughs> I don't see the problem with it, to be honest with you. You know, this is my it's my new gamer subs flavor. And and like I can't I can't take a fucking sip of it without everybody saying, Are you drinking cum? What are you that's drinking? Your new it's not, gamer to, it's not supposed to look like cum. Well, it just wound I guess up I'm looking that way. I'm just curious about the fact that, like, so along the production process, you must have seen what it looked like in water, right? Did they not show you? Or did you just not say, hey, I said, hey, that looks like uh, a steamy hot load out of my cock, more so yeah. than like, uh, <laughs> like, a, like a good flavor of an energy drink? I am in awe. I am in awe. What are you, I, I said what are to you them, in I awe? Them, I said, just make it taste good. I don't get what, like, why does it So they didn't even show you. Like? They didn't even show you what well, it looked well, like. I, mean, I just, I just, I wanted to be delicious. And this is what they said they had to do. 
They said they had to make it, it that does, flavor to make it, it delicious. Like cum. I don't think it looks like cum. I'm not going to lie to you. I know, but can, can I just get a confirmation that in order for them to make it, in quotes, delicious, they told you they had to make it that color? That was just what, that was, uh, that, and you know, and, and sometimes when you're, when you're put in a position like this and you have to really think about uh -huh. things and how it relates to, to, to the semiotics of the situation. Uh -huh. and Audio listeners when, love you to when death, you, he's sweating. When you want, when you want, when, when you, when you, you, when you think you know you want. When you, have you, you ever you, had a dream? <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, I won't drink out of the fucking bottle again. I'm sorry. Yeah, Jesus look, Christ. You, you, can, you can drink as much as you want, dude. Guzzle it. Guzzle, guzzle that cum. I just thought that maybe you ran over to like the fucking tap and like just, and that was your water or something. No, or like, man, it's, it's the gamer sub flavor that I've been working on for months and months. What does it months, taste and like? It's com and it's coming out soon. It tastes delicious. It's it coming out soon? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah? Really? <laughs> What date? When is it coming out? It's this month. It should be coming out this month. Wow. Get it's off coming, my ass coming, about it. Get off my ass about it. Dude, it's delicious. It's probably going to be, you know, the hottest flavor that Gamer Subs has ever released. Oh, God. Oh, my fucking yeah, that, God. Give that cum off his ass, dude. dude it's get a, get it's a, a rifle ready. Dude. It's, a, it's, a, it's a nice, fun, refreshing twist on blue raspberry. Listen, That's listen what it man. Is, okay? And you know what? And Would you know you what? Please? That's all I'm going to say. Why is it okay. white? Can you, can you stop jerking that bottle around on the podcast oh right now? Oh, my fucking God. What? What? What am I it's saying? It's not supposed to look like cum. I'm insulted, guys. Well, I'm on the edge of my seat to figure out what it is. Let's drop this subject, please. Swagger, why didn't you guys come out to? Uh, why didn't you guys come out to TwitchCon? Where were the misfits? Yeah, where where were they? They were at PAX. They were at PAX Australia. Right. And uh, a couple weeks before that, we were all at DreamHack. Uh, the very first dream hack ever made in Australia. It was fun. What is, meet what is, and what's dream hack? So you kind of strike tournament, like kind of event. You go to an arena and then you watch a bunch of sweaty gremlins go at it on stage. And then whoever the winner is, you know, you go whoopee. And then, and then drink beers and eat meat pies. It was dope. That's fucking awesome. It was pretty good. Dude. Yeah, I was, it was I fun. Was... The meet and greet was fun. We, we went around in the crowd with a laptop trying to open up cases and we wanted, the oh, idea was shit. that we would get a knife yeah. during, like, walking with the crowd to be this huge fucking thing. Right, yeah. So we, we opened, like, 200 cases throughout this <laughs> event. And then, like, the, at most, we got, like, a pink. We got, like, two oh, pinks out of, out of all of it. And by the end, like, we're still trying to do it. Like, oh, come on, like, maybe this would be the knife. And before, like, when we first started doing it, everyone's like, whoa! <laughs> And then, like, uh, it, it's and then, and then, by the end, people are just like, "Dude, no. I just want to watch." And you didn't end up getting one. Watch the no, dude, <laughs> no. that sucks. So that was that was that was meant to be like a video if, if that worked out, but it didn't. Uh, but we did we did the meet and greet anyways. It was good. But by the end, you know, you're spending the cases, and people are like, "Dude, I just, just want to watch the fucking game." Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then during the during the the TwitchCon last weekend, you guys were at. PAX Australia. So we were at PAX Australia. So I got a lot of fucking uh, like tweets. People being like, oh, it was great seeing you at TwitchCon. It was great seeing you at TwitchCon. I'm like, I'm not at TwitchCon. Was somebody walking apparently around? Some, apparently some guy was walking around like doing a cosplay of me. So he had, <laughs> he had the balaclava and he had the chainmail and he was wearing a fucking green hoodie. I don't own a green hoodie. I'm not in high school. I don't own a green fucking hoodie. Yeah. And this guy's and the dude's walking around, and I'm like, oh, that's kind of funny. People think he's me, yada yada. But apparently, he did like an impromptu meet and greet as me, and there was like a full on line of people like going to meet him and taking pictures with him, and people tweeting at me, oh, like, like oh, he was so great meeting you, dude. That's, so, that's fucking crazy. It's that's ridiculous. fucking. It's fucked up. That's it's got, so fucked up. I mean, because originally I was like. I don't know whether or not to be like so impressed or like or like flattered, flattered yeah, or, or 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 like pissed off that this dude is tricking people, well, and he could he could say or do whatever he wants, and that it would reflect on me. Well, it's wow. got to mean at least one thing, um, because I don't know if many people like the most notable thing about you is that you have a very recognizable voice. So that means yeah. so that not only did they have a cosplay. Out, like the worst, 
he was probably pulling out like the worst fucking impression, like the, <laughs> hey, like the, like the whole like, hey guys, hey guys, it's me, Swagger Souls. Hey, smoke Finn. some weed. Wanna hey, smoke Finn. some? Let's smoke wanna some, smoke weed. some fucking weed. <laughs> like no, 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 no. It wasn't convincing. You don't think probably that they were? The very least, I don't know, dude. There's gotta it, be it a video that like someone probably sounds like every took. other fucking person. I don't I have no idea. I didn't look all that deeply. I know who did it, but I'm not gonna name any names. It was just a small streamer, I guess. But Damn. fucking holy shit. Dude, that's ridiculous. It was just blow my mind. Like it was, the TwitchCon didn't bother to go around and be like, hey man, do yeah. you actually have a creator badge? Are you actually swag or soul? No, you just let him fucking do it in front of the, the meet and greet area. Dude, that's nuts. That that's ridiculous. I mean, yeah, dude. If only he went to the Lenovo booth and jumped in the fucking phone. Yeah, broke his back in two places. <laughs> broke his fucking back oh in three God. places. Then everyone <laughs> would be like, oh, "Holy fuck!" Then imagine, would you imagine if that happened? If it was like him pretending to be me jumping yeah. into the booth, hurting himself super badly, and everyone's like, "Swagger souls, who are the back?" Yeah. <laughs> and then he like <laughs> pulls his mask off because he's in yeah, pain, and it's mask like, and like this is his like, real oh, face. It's a face. It's a face reveal. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, for those of you who don't know, at at TwitchCon, for our listeners out there, I mean, if you haven't been filled in on the drama at all, yeah. is Actually, that even a drama? Pretty, a That's pretty just sad, an injury like, that happened. It's just a, it's just a sad series. It's not even situation. drama. It's just literally, ju literally just like gross, gross fucking negligence. Yeah, I yeah. feel like, like with everything happening around Twitch, my my first instinct is just to refer to anything happening as just drama, quote unquote. But um, there was this uh, woman. Uh, uh, Ad Adriana Chechnik. Adriana Chechik, yeah. But she yeah. she broke her back in two places because the You're fucking crazy. The because this you know she's had a, she's had this booth fucking Lenovo X whoever the fuck they had this foam pit right this foam pit pit with air quotes and it, it's it's like two layers of of like one foot by one foot foam cubes mm -hmm. and and then hard concrete underneath the two layers of so foam fucking cubes ridiculous fucking concrete Actually ridiculous I, and the, the announcer who was running the event yeah, was dude. like yeah jump in yeah, everybody, jump on in. everybody. And she, yeah, dude, and she jumps in and she breaks her back. Like she like she jumps oh, in man. like as stand like she was doing a fucking super mario ground pound and just bounces like like Gibby, fucking going from the from the fucking time she she bounces off her tailbone and then she's like on oh. the on her hands and knees in the in the foam pit like curled up into a ball and the announcer the announcer awful. dude the announcer is just like ah oh, yeah she's okay yeah she's fine it's okay she was not dude, okay dude she was no. not okay at all she Worst was time to do she damage was very control far too from it yeah she's got to get dude, like uh like a i don't know a fucking iron she got rod. a meter um, she got a meter ride putting her fucking back dude, it's insane because twitch has had a lot of bad pr recently and the the con is like supposed to be a good thing and then the biggest story out of TwitchCon is partnered street one of the biggest streamers on the site has to go into surgery because she broke her spine from an from like an from, exhibition that they approved yes, in some capacity yes. and like it's crazy bro yeah no it, it's wild too because i i mm. i wonder if there's going to be a lawsuit that comes out of that because you know they had to <laughs> you wonder they well they had to sign a waiver but i, I think that that's you know that that no, crosses dude, the line the, of the, gross the, 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 waiver, the, the, the waiver the waiver's not going to save them. They're like, <laughs> no. it's it's gross, dude. It's gross negligence. Like they like like you can you can be like, yeah, dude, jump into this foam pit and then install a bunch of fucking nails on the bottom. But dude. if people jump in and fucking hurt themselves, you're still liable. Make someone sign a waiver and that says you can't sue me if I shoot you in the head. Shoots them in the head. Yeah, like you can't. Yeah, you can't sue me if I fucking. <laughs> Punch your teeth down your throat. <laughs> Punch your fucking teeth. Yeah, yeah I mean, there's, you can't sue me there's if I other stuff like that, though. That and strangle you until you're purple. Dude, in a couple <laughs> years' time, Lenovo's going to be called uh, <laughs> Adriana Chinovo. You, Adriana Chinovo. <laughs> you can't do anything if I put you on the beating wheel after <laughs> this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, get on this wheel. There's new game. You sign this so gonna, waiver in case we're going to cover you wrong. in honey and put you in this uh, in this canoe. It you just have to. We're going to feed you. We're going to feed you milk and honey and put you on this canoe and then tie another <laughs> canoe on top of it. We're going to put you out into a stagnant pond filled with bugs and mosquitoes. We'll call it a wildlife immersion program. <laughs> it's, yeah, dude. This is this is just this is fucking this is D Disney World Animal Kingdom B yeah, two. It's, it's Scafecon, you know. Yeah, it's part it's part of the new bug exhibit. Oh, God. I feel so bad for her, man. Like that that's the shittiest 
this thing. Your life is is now like permanently. Yeah, it's kind of I, I it's kind it's, it's chronic pain, man. It's chronic she, pain yeah. for the rest and of your she, life. She tweeted today saying that like I hope I can pee normally soon, and I was like, fuck. Yeah, she's she wish she would be having people helping her to go yeah. to the bathroom, to put on clothes, to you know bathe. All the hospital shit. They're not, they're not letting her do anything. She can't move. Yeah, uh, without it hurting. That's uh, fu- pretty and, fun. And I think that you yeah, know, yeah, Twitch card. Yeah, I'm so happy. I w- did fucking went to PAX <laughs> Australia, dude. There was none of that. There was there was a little smelly. I'll admit, I, it was a little stinky. I take the fucking ball pit from that convention. That <laughs> that empty ball pit. In the wide what, open what, what, warehouse, I take that over the Dashcon. Over the Dashcon, yeah, I take that over the fucking yeah, Lenovo dude, booth. Yeah, dude, it's the it's the Chad the Chad Peden ball pit versus the <laughs> the beta <laughs> fucking two block tall foam pit. Well, God it's damn. funny though, Swagger, because you know, even though you guys weren't at TwitchCon, there were sort of murmurings among the influencer community about how um, the events thrown by the misfits during the 2019 twitchcon were much better than anything that had occurred uh this year uh, have you yeah, ever have you right. ever talked about have we ever talked about that like what this the is party from 2019 from 2019 the, the party ago. i got to smoke weed with uh uh what was his name fuck oh man <laughs> i don't remember forgetting his name i smoked weed with a lot of people and it was a big blur uh, we we hung out with keegan hawk uh, XQC to the fucking slide down the down the railing of the the winding stairs. Yeah, uh, there were there was an influencer <laughs> soup in the high tub. It was like Toby and Soda Poppin mm. and a bunch of other people. I smoked weed with Michael Reeves, which is pretty good. I don't know. If, I don't know if he wants me to even say that, but I'm pretty sure I said it before. Sorry, Mike, but weed's legal now, so get over it. <laughs> It's crazy, um, man. This was three it was good. It was fucking good years ago. Yeah, it was, was three years. This, yeah. was, this was 2019 TwitchCon when I had literally face revealed a week prior. Yeah, yeah, and then you, just yeah you were fresh. And I was the first face. person that saw you. Yes, Ted was the first person who saw me. And you asshole, because I was self-conscious about putting my face out there. Took a photo with the you. Second I, the second I, I fucking... You. The second I... <laughs> dude, the second I... I can tell this whole fucking story because of just how tra- traumatic it was and how badly Ted e- Ted added okay, to all of it. This is dramatic. So I put. I was so nervous about this face reveal. I was not prepared. I knew I was going to TwitchCon, so I knew it had to come out at some point. Mm. Put out the face reveal at the end of a Minecraft video where me and Anthony kill the Ender Dragon, the, the Ender Dragon. Yeah. <laughs> Thirty minutes later, after that video post, I get in an Uber, uh, and I I'm at the airport. And I'm just, I'm literally sitting at the gate like this. Oh, man. I I legitimately thought that everybody was going to be, like, looking for me at the airport. Even though they had no idea. Like, like. Yeah, they're just like, who the fuck is this guy getting too drunk before his flight? Can't even hold his head (laughs) up. I was, I was. On Twitter, everybody's profile picture was me. It was it was insane. Yeah. It felt like that's I what I, being... that's what I'm worried about, man. Like yeah, if that yeah. shit ever happens, like you know, I saw what happened to Dream, and everyone's like, "Yeah, does that make you want to face reveal?" And I'm like, "No, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no." Yeah, no. I I, I uh, it was rough. It was really rough for a very long time after that. Um, get off the. I get on the plane, take the couple hour flight to L. A. Get off the plane, walk out of the gate. Ted Nivison's no, waiting. I was coordinating yeah. with you, okay? We were texting. Hey, 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 hey. You told me what gate you were rolling up to in I your wa- plane. I know, I know. I, I came I up because I, I wanted to meet you. I know you did. I came <laughs> out, and I'm still like, You I'm came very stomping nervous. out in your Timbies. I did. I my Tims on. Yeah, you were right. wearing your Tims. Mm. And the first fucking thing this guy does, he fucking reaches into his bag of tricks and pulls out a fucking Polaroid camera and takes a fucking photo of me. <laughs> oh, I see kind of cute though. Uh, yeah, I think I, cute? honestly, I don't know where that oh, photo Polaroid? is either. I would, I have a, I have like a. There's a bunch of people took a shit ton of Polaroids of me. Yeah, and uh, you know, I'm not too concerned about it. Yeah. Well, yeah, that, that a picture. Physical yeah, thing. I know. Yeah, that's true. I, I was like, like tell you that. anywhere. I, I can just imagine that you looked like shit coming off that flight, and he just took a fucking photo of you, candid, and you probably looked fucking awful. You probably well, looked dude, cold it was the face. second. It was like the second. <laughs> it was the second photo anyone yeah. has ever, you know, taken of my yeah, face yeah. that that's related to the online world. And like, I just remember that convention. Every photo that would come out. 
it was like a the the loss of control is what really flustered me because this face reveal was this orchestrated thing where like I was in front of the webcam, I did a hundred fucking takes of it, I picked the perfect one. And then all of a sudden, I'm thrust into a convention center with hundreds and thousands and yeah, thousands of people. Yeah, completely unfiltered. Yeah. Just will take photos yeah. of you from yeah, every man. angle. You look like shit. Your hair's fucked up. Exactly. The wind blew it. You didn't even know. Yeah. Then you and had every- to grow out your hair and put it in a bun so it never happens again. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And every photo looked different of me. I, I remember that weekend. I was taking photos with, with a bunch of different uh, people on uh, that I knew. And they were yeah. coming out in every fucking photo. People were like... Why does he look different in this one? Like, what's going yeah. on? And every time where that happened, I remember Michael McChill had an, a shitty Android phone with, like, the face smoothing turned up to a million. And it, it made me look like a fucking 10-year-old. Right. Yeah. And then a second later, Anvenom comes up, and he also has got a weird Android. But it's, it's got, like, a face like sharpening been, one on it. This just feels like you hadn't had photos taken of you up no, until this I point. No, I didn't. Because for three nah. years, I was this faceless fucking YouTuber. Well, it's not like you didn't exist before that as a person, as a human oh, being. Ted, but from the time where I started to gain notoriety on YouTube, yeah, yeah. there are very, very few, like single digits amount of photos of me taken in those couple of years. Yeah. Like Same. I'm not even lying. That's how, that's how locked down I, I kept it. Yeah. And uh, Dream, Dream did a good job I'm of keeping it. it locked down too. Yeah, yeah, I'm out of like every, I'm out of every like group photo and shit like that. Anything people want to post, I, I, I'm out of it. Yeah. yeah. And I think people are also pretty like conscious of your situation too. And I feel mm. like. Once yeah, there's just- a lot of, a lot of people forget, especially over like the last two years with like, I wasn't wearing this all that much. Like, yeah. dude, I, I've worn this like in the last two or three months more than I've worn it in like the last two years. That's crazy. Like. Look how rusty this son of a bitch is. Yeah, you're gonna need a new one, man. Holy shit! No, no, I just gotta clean no? it, dude. I got the vinegar. I got the I got the double got strength white setup. vinegar. <laughs> I got the the soap scours. I got everything I need besides a container. He's got a I, Patrick I have, Bateman he got, setup. <laughs> he cleans legit, the fucking dude. helmet every morning. <laughs> legit. Um, dude, that's but awesome. no, dude. Like going going back to conventions, doing the doing the meetup at Dreamhack, doing the meetup at uh, PAX, dude. After like two years of not having a meetup. It was fucking great. It was yeah, like it being. Nice. It, was, it was like being right back where we started. Saw a ton of people c- that came out to PAX. We saw Pyro Cynical. We uh, met up with him. We had a dinner. We shot a podcast. It was it was good because you, you're you're connecting with these people after two years yeah. and seeing them in person, and you expect things to be different. Like you expected them to have changed, but the reality is, it's like you're picking up exactly where you left off yeah, two years yeah. ago. Everyone's just two years <laughs> older. Yeah. Um but 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 it was it's all the same. It feels like COVID didn't even happen and that it was just yeah. a horrible, 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 horrible nightmare. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Horrible nightmare. Horrible nightmare. Everyone's just a little more weathered and depressed. You yeah. Know? yeah, I'm getting a little bit happier now. They do the sun the sun the sun changed. Sun's we only get we yeah. have like we have another hour of sunlight here, which is great. Ooh. That happened very recently. That's fucked my up. My dick my dick was hard. I was, I, it was? I, was, I was, but the thing is, I was in Queensland at the time when it when it changed. But Queensland doesn't do they're like the only state that doesn't do daylight savings oh. in, in Australia. It's so I'm like, yes, darkness. it changed. And then like I'm waiting, and it's like six thirty, it's getting dark. I'm like, I'm in Queensland. We're up there shooting a video for Halloween, which That's is which is gonna dope. be pretty good. I don't know if I can really uh, I can really say too much about that. But yeah, I mean, I could I could talk about. You can talk about like maybe one of the videos that we did. Sure, sure. Well, the misfits yeah. look the, the the just the idea of the misfits coming back to their YouTube and doing group videos yeah. again is, is, yeah. is one of the most exciting things I, the, I've seen on, in a while. You know, yeah, it's been it's been a drought. It's been a drought for sure. It was literally illegal for two years to like hang out. To like you couldn't if if you lived in a house alone, the only people that could go over your house were you could only have one person at a time. And they usually either had to be related to you or, like, a significant other. Right. So every single time I, I went to Fitz's or Fitz's came to my house, the, the, the idea was, hey, if a cop stopped them and said, where are you going? What are you doing outside? Where are you heading? He's your boyfriend. Say, I'm, going to, I'm going to my boyfriend's house. Oh, so, yeah. Wow. 
You know, we, we were we were we were we were big gay lovers for, for a good for for a good year just just to be able to fucking hang out. But you have a, it was weird, man. You have like a fucking you have like a, a, a little party with five people like over your house. Cops cops would come knocking and fine everyone like two thousand dollars. Crazy, fucking crazy. I just they imagine fu- a cop be, like looking dude, at you two and being like, "Dude, you yeah. better start kissing." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they, well, they it's flew wild too drones. because because you want to hear something crazy? Hmm? Like when you came on the podcast, you know, I'm ninety percent sure that you were in the midst of that still. Like there was not a time pre COVID that you have ever bad. been on cup chuckle sandwich. Yeah, Isn't it's that true. weird to think about? It's true. What? It is. What are you talking now, now about? We're, now we're post-COVID. What do you mean? The pre- Chuckle Sandwich started in 2021. You said pre-COVID. Yeah, there's, there was we not a COVID. Yeah, yeah there, no, he's, he's never, saying that there wasn't. Oh, there wasn't I've never oh, been on a podcast pre, yeah, pre-COVID. No, my games. bad, my bad. Was I even on like, I'm not even going to say it. <laughs> Well, you were you were on you were on one like you were on one of the first episodes, and then the next yeah. episode we just had yeah, such a good like time we brought it was you like back two again. Wasn't it? Wasn't it too later? Or was it literally <laughs> no, it me? The and next then it was episode. followed by was me. It, back to back? it was the next episode, and the, and then the title was our new member, and we were pretending yeah. that you were just now a member of yeah, the podcast. I uh, well, and it's so I great to be. finally have you. You know, now now I can be. Now I can be another member. And it's really good. It's really good to have like a replacement episode now after we had to. You know. As I know, is get rid of the uh, the uh, Markiplier episode that we had. Um, you had a Markiplier episode? <laughs> oh god! Yeah, well, we don't really. It was a weird one. We don't really talk we'll about have it. To cut that did he? Out, did so. he? Did he do his iconic Markiplier bit where he uh, puts on his pink mustache and then shows you his rectum? He does a full goatee. <laughs> you know, you know, Swagger. I probably shouldn't even have mentioned this. I mean, let's. We should probably, you know. There was the milk thing too. That, yeah. that was <laughs> oh, strange. Yeah, was the, the milk, milk thing. The milk, the milk thing, thing's yeah. weird. He dude. got pissed the milk at thing's me. Kind of weird. He got pissed at me for mentioning the milk. Well, thing. he also got pissed at me for talking about his red hair, and that was like an odd moment as well. But you know. Whatever the case, yeah. I mean, you know. I met that guy. I asked him. We had big, bright red hair. I met him. I said, hey, hey, Marky Mark. He goes, yeah. I go to the curtains, match the drapes, and he looked at me. He fucking pulled out. He pulled out like a, like a flask, and he started chugging the flask. I'm like, what's in that? Can I have a hit? And he says, you don't want it. And I was like, what do you mean I don't want it? He goes, look. And then he started pouring the flask out. It was literally milk. It was yeah. like 2% wow. full cream milk, like just being poured out of this flask. Was Wild. it? It was two percent, or was it? Was it whole milk? I, I, I honestly can't remember. It was very thick and foamy, so I go with he's the ladder on that one. He's probably he got probably the whole, had the whole milk. milk. He had yeah. the full cream. Yeah, That's we had a, we had a completely axed that episode. Yeah, um, and you know, and honestly, I, would, I I know I brought it up, but you know, I I'd probably feel better if we we maybe just stop talking about it. Yeah, yeah good, good. It's funny. Can I can funny. I say something though, Swagger? Because I was going to say this yeah, earlier before I went into my coughing fit. Um, but I was talking about this with with Schlatt earlier, just about because because you know the uh-huh. there was the TwitchCon parties you know over this weekend that because TwitchCon right. happened and people genuinely right. did talk about how and because there was a bunch of parties and stuff you know influencer shit and it was all very like there was ones where you know I wasn't even well, invited was to it like, were, like was exclusive. it was it like a yeah a fucking bu- one of those bullshit <laughs> fucking business mixers where the, where they're like. Yeah, you could bring a plus one, I guess, but we got to keep this down to the industry. Yeah, no, so fuck stuff, you. <laughs> well, stuff I'm like here that. Fun! I mean, <laughs> I'm here to fucking fun. <laughs> there was it was it was more like the energy the whole weekend was like you knew some friends that were invited to something, and then you were like, oh, how'd you oh, get an invite? Fuck and off, then they were like, oh, dude. I've heard from this person, and then it just it for at least for Shane, I kind of turned into a thing where it's like we wanted to like go where everyone was going, but then eventually we just got sick of it and we're just like, all right, we're just gonna go to a fucking barcade yeah, and have a good night. The, the, the Misfits party, the strategy was get an Airbnb, get a really yeah. big Airbnb, yeah. stay there, and then maybe throw a party. And then when people were like, "You want to throw a party?" We we're like, "Yeah, <laughs> dude." We're like, all right. So, how, much, how much should we? How much? How much should we get to drink? <laughs> you just buy out half a liquor store, dude. Okay. Like, what, what should we do for weed? I don't know. Go on weed maps. <laughs> buy five ounces of weed. We buy five. We, dude, it was like for each. You guys half were living ounce, like rock stars. Is what it no, was. but it was. But the thing is, for each half, an, the dude, the, the guy, the drug dealer came from the dispensary in a black van with like three security guards with fucking guns on their hips. And the guy comes out. He's like, "Yeah, who ordered this?" And we're like, "Yeah, it was this house, it's us." And then he goes, "Oh, 
I need five IDs. And we're like, why do you need five IDs? He goes, he goes, he goes, because I can only give an ounce to like each person. So I need five IDs so that these go to five individual people. And we're like, yeah, all right. So That's we got five, great. we got five IDs. We got all the weed. And then we're like, how do we invite people? We're like, we'll just start by like inviting streamers and YouTubers and. If they want to invite whoever the fuck they want, I mean, they can. Oh my we god! We had no security. <laughs> it was pretty it was bad, crazy. honestly. What but I, it was, it was. What I was, was telling this was, was that, like, my perception, because you know, this had led into Schlatt's talking about his his first showing up, and like this Misfits party yeah. was one of the first things that Schlatt post face reveal went to, and like true, this true. was our first. This was at least my first sort of like in, influencer kind of convention, besides like like VidCon, but like it was all. This was all very very new to me at the time. I kid you not, my memory of it, I don't know if you ever saw like the the new Great Gatsby movie, like the most recent one, yeah. but there's a party scene in that. If you had to give that, like a compare that, what happened with the Misfits thing to that party scene, it was the Great Gatsby it's party pretty, scene pretty of close. influencer <laughs> parties. It was pretty close. It, we had we had people like being like, I'm going to jump off the balcony into the pool, and people being like, yeah. no, you shouldn't do that. It's really shallow. And it was an Airbnb. Like, I'm going to do it. And people going like, yeah, I'm going to do it anyways. There were people that like were... Uh, I, I just remember XQC fucking sliding down the railing of the of the stairs. Um, I, do, like I remember uh, sliding down the railing, dude. I remember um, Chad. Anything for views? Like, yeah, any views like, there? Like <laughs> he was like in just boxers, just like stepping down the stairs. And at that, there was like this stairway yeah, yeah, yeah. that went up in the middle of the building. And like at that point, you know, it was well into the party, so the stairs were like. You know, they turn into kind of like the moon juice, like the like the floor of a yeah. bar, kind of. So he's yeah, going sticky. down these fucking sticky stairs. He's fucking like high and waste out of his mind. I was like, I was looking around. I'm like, what the fuck is happening in this place? Yeah. Nothing like yeah, they that. Had, they, they was, yeah, dude, I mean, it's a shame. We, we you know, we would have loved to have gone. Uh, it just wasn't. It just didn't really work out. Maybe next year, though, we'll we'll we'll, we'll go again through another party. It's nice to hear. It's nice to hear that we're missed. It's very three, nice to hear that we're missed. Three fucking years, Three years bro, later. And they're still talking later, about like, it. Well, it's yeah, the first, it's first con that's later. happened since then, too. I mean, it's yeah. like... That's true. That's but true. They're, and they're like, oh, man, this was going to come this year? Oh, shit. How am I supposed I to mean, have fun now? How yeah. often do you think you're going to be seeing fucking gamers doing keg stands? Oh, I haven't man. seen it since. Not I'll tell you that much. I not haven't seen it since. It's, um, it was pretty crazy. That that it night was... Some real hangover shit. It was. It was. It was especially when like th this group of people came in. Nobody knew who the fuck they were. This guy picked up like a little pamphlet off the off the thing that was like showing like like what the house was and the layout and shit. It was like for realtors. And he picked it up and he started saying like, oh yeah, I own the house. Everyone follow me. And he was like getting a bunch of like, yeah, there was a bunch of scantily clad women and then like a bunch of really jacked fucking like muscly guys. And then they went upstairs into one of the bedrooms, the one with the sauna built in, and they started shooting porn. Right, right. I heard about this. You remember this, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah they yeah, started yeah. shooting porn. We I didn't witness it, but I just heard all about it the next day. We had to go upstairs. We opened the door. We walk in. There's two bitches got their shirts off. There's two guys sitting there. There's a guy with a camera. And we're like, what the fuck are you guys doing? And they're like, oh, uh, they're like, don't worry about it. We're like, what do you mean? We, we like, this is our house. This is our party. What do you mean? Don't worry about it. And we were like, you guys got to like sound. You're going to get I wonder leave. how they found out about that. Like, do they just have the, do they have a fucking dispatch for like, for, I for don't know. Airbnbs it, it that are just, getting rented out by random influencers so they can they dude, can guerrilla style run and gun a fucking porn shoot? There, like how do they must there must have been five hundred fucking people at that house. Like uh, 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 all in all, people coming in and people coming out. So like there there were probably just people like from the convention center that are like, oh yeah, I'm a YouTuber, uh, you know, some YouTuber yeah. streamer with their fucking 20 person entourage. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm going to this party. Oh well, can we come? Yeah, sure. They don't say no. And so they kind of rock it with 20 people. No one knows who the fuck they are. I'm there incognito without my mask on walking around. <laughs> we had a name tag called Swagger Souls. I think we put it on, we put it on uh, Travis. And then Travis was walking around. And then two men saw Travis and was like, Swagger Souls, no way. And they started talking with him and having a conversation. <laughs> and he was like, wait, you're not Swagger Souls. It was... 
the, I remember the video you you guys yeah, filmed. You two filmed with, 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 Ted. with Ted, Ted just standing we there. Did. Swagger yeah, was recording it. Where I'm Swagger Souls. <laughs> well, we did Swagger it again Souls. actually we recently did a when you were last in the U.S. as well. We did yeah, a, we when did I when I when I when I I missed my fucking flight. I missed my flight. Yeah, that was fucking horrible, dude. That that whole that whole thing is a story. That was yeah. Honestly, have you talked about this before? This situation. Um, I don't even think so. I don't even think on the on the, on my, on the Misfits podcast I've, I've spoken about it. Well, fucking but, give us the goods because I remember hearing about so, this and it was like it was just the most miserable return experience. It was, um, yeah, it was fucking awful. Um, shit, I don't even know how much of this I can really say. Uh, yeah, there's yeah, a lot of locations that are there. Um, I mean, I suppose you could say like it's not so much that; it's so much the other shit. I might as well. So. You can say it as generally um, I, as you need I mean, to. I, mean, I was, the, you know, the last two years, I was pretty much locked down in Australia. I couldn't leave. I had a completely valid visa that meant that I was able to travel. But because of COVID, Australia shut down their borders. I could leave. I could go back to the United States whenever I wanted. The issue was coming back. Yeah. I couldn't come back. And, you know, my house, my two cats, like, you know, my my. Because you're a dirty ever, American. Everything is out here. So, like, if I go yeah. home and I'm locked out, I'm fucked. And right. it could be locked out for months. It could be locked out for almost a year. Like, it, it, it was it was a big risk to leave. And so, like, I had, I had, like, the tail end of, like, my current visa is still good. It was set to expire, like, the first week of January. And so the idea was that I would leave in November, go back home, Stay, stay at home, see my friend, see my family that I haven't seen in two years, and then fly back right after Christmas, and then get back before the visa expiry date so that I could submit an application for another visa. Right. And so that was the idea. If I missed my flight to come back home and I, and I couldn't make it, I was fucked. I was fucked. Uh, I I would be locked out. I would still be locked out. I'd be in America right now if I if I didn't get back home. So we go through the whole thing. November was great. December was great. Holidays, fun time with the family, fun time with the friends. Twenty fifth, you know, Christmas. It's good, all good. Next day, I have to take a fucking PCR test, right? So so that I could fly. You know, I had to be COVID negative so I could fly on the plane to get home. And I'm like, all right, cool. I'll go ahead and do that. It's the fucking day after Christmas, height of the Omicron fucking epidemic. And dude, like, I get there at this clinic and, and I sit down and they're like, yeah, so what are you getting the PCR test for? And I'm like, I need to travel. I have an international yeah. flight to Australia in two days, in two days. Yeah. And they go, hmm, well, it's going to be about 72 hours until you get your test results. Fuck. And I and, and I said, well, I'm can starting you to remember that? too this the whole situation too. Yeah, it's like coming I, back I, to I me. told you. And I was like, are you like, can you expedite it? Can you get me to the front of the line? They go, yeah, it's possible for like two hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> and I looked at this guy and I was like, yeah, fucking fine, fine, whatever will get me home, fine. He gave him two hundred and fifty bucks. And then he's like, yeah, 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 you'll be and then good. He said, no and then he said, well, hold on. Also, there's also an executive blowjob that <laughs> yeah, I need. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but he said, you know, he's like, yeah, but, you know, you, you should be good, but no promises. Like, we'll do our best. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. Next day, it's the day before my flight. I get nothing. Nothing on the email. Nothing on the phone. Okay, great. Crickets. I go I go into the, uh, in, into the, <laughs> I go into the, <laughs> next day, I open up. It, it's got to be at the airport at noon. Yeah. Wake up at nine, open up my email, nothing. Lovely, fucking great. Um, so I end up going to the airport. I'm like, oh yeah, maybe it'll come by the time I'm there. Get dropped off at the airport. Nothing's there. And I'm like, well, I might as well check you it for my flight. Bold you to go to the airport too. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I, I figured it would it would be worth. So right. I go to the airport, <laughs> I'm sitting there, and I'm like, all right, it's time to check in. Because, you know, even if it doesn't come now, I'm going from the East Coast to the West Coast. And they say the West Coast for like, you know, six hours. And then I board the flight at like 10, 1130 to, yeah. go, to go to Australia. So I'm, I'm thinking like, oh, I, I have all this time until I need the PCR test to, 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 be, to be good, right? So I'm sitting down at the airport and I'm looking through my phone. Nothing. All right, final check-in. Go up to the kiosk. because they're putting all my shit in. You know, yep, this guy for this flight, for this time, 
Uh, and then it starts to ask you a bunch of questions. Do you have a valid visa and do you have the documents with you? Yes. Do you have a international COVID vaccine certificate? Do, and do you have it with you? Yes. Do you have the ESTA? Yes. And it was like traveling during that period of time to go in and out of Australia. Like a fucking nightmare. Was was like trying to get through fucking like 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 the Soviet Union like papers please like you needed a million documents fucking to fucking the prove Wall. that you were that you were good to fucking go to, to travel and so I get all of it all of it and then the, the very last fucking question is do you have a valid PCR test that says oh. you're negative and I go no. And then the kiosk just starts, like, there's a little light on the kiosk, it starts flashing red, and it starts going, <laughs> beep, 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 beep. A fucking lady comes over, like an attendant, and she's like, hey, yeah, is everything okay? I'm like, yeah, it's fine. I'm just trying to put some shit in. I have a flight to Melbourne. And she's like, yeah, okay, well, what's the problem? I go, well, I don't have the negative PCR test yet. I just got it. I just got it, so I should be good. And, and she's like, well, the thing is, you're not getting on the flight. And I was like, what do you mean I'm not getting on the flight? And she's like, well... It's from the point of first departure. So we can't just send right. you to L.A. You need to have it before you leave. And I was like, well, and I'm like, well, what the fuck am I supposed to do? And she says, well, you, you feel free to wait around. Your flight's in like an hour. Your check-in closes in like an hour. So just wait around. If it doesn't come, Dude, it's fine. It was, that's like so fucked up, too, because it's like if, if they didn't require it when you first were leaving, I mean, you you would have definitely gotten the like the PCR thing like they, when they you were in LA. Before, before I left, oh, oh yeah, but it was like, when I went from Melbourne to the US, I needed all of this shit. I needed the PCR test, I needed all that shit. It was like another 200 fucking dollars. The biggest fucking scam. The right. biggest fucking scam ever. I'm at, I'm, at the, I'm at the fucking airport, and I'm waiting, and I'm just waiting, and I'm refreshing my shit, like, 10 times a second, when am I going to get this PCR test? Right. And it is not showing up. And I get a message from somebody saying, "Hey, you know, it was good to see you. Like, hope you're hope you hope you're you know enjoying your flights home. Like, hope you enjoyed your time back in the states." And I respond with, "Oh my god, I am fucked. I am fucked. I don't have a PCR test. I am fucked." And they then must they have been said, like whiplash, like, "Oh, whoa, oh, okay." Yeah, but then, they, but then the, the first thing they say is, "Why don't you just Photoshop it?" And I was like. You yeah. expect me to fucking open up my laptop at the airport with people walking by me and you expect me to Photoshop a PCR test? And they were like, no, we can just do it for you. And I was like, you can just fucking Photoshop that and give it to me in like 20 minutes? And they're like, yeah. I was like, all right. <laughs> I wait 20 minutes. Get the, get the fucking, oh man, get the shit. I, uh, it looks perfect. I go up to the guy. He the, showed, the he showed go, me the photo of it, too. It looked good. Yeah, it was pretty legit. I go up to the guy. I go, yeah, dude. Here, here, here. Look, look, look. And he's like, yeah, yeah, no, that works. Yeah, we'll put you on the flight. Get on the flight. The line is stretching all the way to the back of the airport. Oh, I'm going to miss fuck. the flight because the line through security is so long. But then a man with a wheelchair rolls up. No, no. Here's the thing. I go near the bathroom like two quarters up the line. And I, I'm going up, and I, 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 I go to cross the line to, to go to the bathroom, and I drop my phone in the line on purpose. I go to bend down and pick oh. it up, and then I just turn around in the line. Guy behind me goes, hey, man, did you just cut the line? And I, and I just explained to him the situation. I'm like, look, dude, this is the thing. Like, I have, I have a flight that leaves in like an hour. I need to get through this line. Otherwise, I'm fucked for this and this and this. And the dude goes, dude. My flight's in three hours. You're good. Stay there. <laughs> That's dope. And I was like, and I was like, thank you so much. Got through, got onto the plane. Dude, the going, airport going, saviors are the number one. Yeah. Got on the plane, going to LAX. I have, I think it was at the time I was going to land and have two hours to get from domestic to international. Get on the flight, <clears throat> getting ready to leave. A little fucking intercom goes off. Uh, flight's delayed by 45 minutes. We're refueling. Oh, no. So I'm on the flight. I'm like, oh, my God. Holy fuck. There's 45 more minutes. I'm fucked. And so I get there. We, we land. I asked the lady, like, right before we land, like, I need to go to Thomas Bradley International to catch a fucking connecting flight to Australia at this time. Where do I Man. go immediately after we leave the airport? And she's like, dude, I have no idea. 
ask somebody as soon as you get out there. And I'm like, thank you. And so I run out. First person I see, how do we get to Thomas Bradley International? They go that way. Follow the signs. Just fucking follow the signs. And I was like, okay. Full sprint. And look, I don't know if anyone knows this. When you go to LAX and you, and you go from like a domestic to an international connecting flight, what they usually do is that you go out, you, you, get, you land on the plane, you, you go into the terminal, and then you get rounded up. Everyone, on, everyone on the connected flight, you get rounded up onto a bus yeah. on the tarmac that drives you across the fucking tarmac to your plane. Dude, it's the biggest pain So you can get the there ass. in time. Was it Delta? I Was it Delta? No, no. I didn't even have that because I had to be put on another flight uh, because of how long it took me uh, in, in the previous airport. So they right. didn't put me on the connecting flight. They put me on another one an hour later. And so I get there. I have like an hour to get to the gate and to go from domestic to Thomas Bradley International it's on like foot. It's like a fucking trek. The hallways are like a kilometer long <laughs> and there's two of them. Because the and planes so I'm are running. the size of buildings. Dude, I'm running full speed with a mask on. I can barely breathe. I'm coughing. I'm sweating. I'm just deteriorating actively. <laughs> You're and just turning into it, sludge. A good 30 minutes, and I'm sp full sprinting with all my luggage. Full sprinting. You sprinted for and 30 minutes straight, pretty much? Oh. It was it was probably like a 15-minute dash, and then just, just literally speed walking like a grandma, just trying my best to get there quick oh my god and so and so i get out of there i'm in thomas bradley i check in i go through i ask the lady where's this gate i need to go there for this flight where's the gate she goes honey honey you got plenty of time you've got so much time just relax just go and i was like okay 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 and i walk up to and i walk up to the gate i have the thing I show them my ticket. I go, I'm here for the flight. I'm here for the flight. Like, I'm, I'm ready. And the dude's like, doo, 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 calm down. There is no flight. I'm like, what? what? He goes, you missed it by 25 minutes. There is no flight. <sighs> and, I, and I just, dude, I just sat down and put my fucking hands on my head. And I was so defeated. And the dude, the dude gave me some water. He gave me some chips. And he goes, dude, we're going to sort you out. We're going to get you on the next flight tomorrow night. No problem. You don't need to take another test. You're all good. We're going to put you on the flight. You'll be fine. Oh, but, my God. But That's a fucking you want to, nightmare. And he goes, but if you want to find a place to stay, then, you know, that's all on you. Like, you want to find a hotel for the night or you want to sleep in the airport or yeah. whatever you want to do, just fucking do it. So I hit up a bunch of people. <laughs> I ended up staying with Matt Watson, yeah, super mega, you, yeah. legendary, legendary. And that's when I, I invited Ted over and then Minx yeah. came over. It's funny, too, because you invited me over and we came, we came hung out yeah, and stuff. Dude. And, and Matt, see, I didn't see, see Matt me. once that whole time I was over there because Matt... Well, because he like went upstairs. You were, I was like, where's Matt? And he was like, oh, he went upstairs to like do something real quick. And, and like Matt didn't come downstairs. I was there for like two hours. Yeah, you were there for two hours. Matt never come downstairs. Hour I leave. I text him. And then Matt's like, oh, shit, man. I fell asleep. Sorry. Yeah, he fucking See fell asleep. <laughs> oh, that's. No, it was, uh, you know, that was, that was okay. <laughs> meeting up with Matt and meeting up with you and Minx, that was completely. And that's fun. where we recorded because our second iteration of. And that is. Hey, I'm it is. Yeah. We did the same thing with same thing with Minx too. Yeah, I still remember the the that party though. Yeah, it, it was, was good party, it was, man. It, it was, was good party. Very, it was like a very defining <clears throat> moment for me coming into the the space the first time. I, I was like shell shocked because yeah. I had never experienced anything like it. it. Was my like entire magical. YouTube ex my entire YouTube experience and Twitch experience was sitting in my parents' basement. Yeah, literally yeah. just without it, without a face, without anything. And that weekend, for going from zero to 100 that quickly uh, was insane to me. Yeah. And that party was like, I was sober. I was not doing anything. Yeah, at you the weren't time. even having all that Completely much fun. Completely sober, yeah. brother. I, I, was, I remember that mansion, the most lavish fucking house oh I've God, ever was, been in to this a day. Beautiful building. Do you and know, and do you know, know what? the there thing? Was, there was also a fucking, are you about to talk about the wine cellar? Yes, dude. You guys yeah. were hanging out. 
right in front of us, a bunch of bookcases up on yeah. a landing. Yeah, one that was the mezzanine. Hidden, hidden one. That was one the mezzanine. The, yeah, one of the bookcases was a fake door that you could push o- that you could pull yeah. open and what go down fuck? into a giant wine cellar. <laughs> yeah, we just never we never saw it. While and we, we were there. nobody we didn't know about it until oh until until God. it was over and we saw the listing. Dude, oh man, I, I, they were so I pissed. Up there. I didn't they up kick there you guys out? Time. It was. We could talk about the aftermath after this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I sat up there on that mezzanine the whole time, completely sober with Josh, and because we were this, we were basically the same fucking, you know, same deal. Yeah. Um, and it, it was like looking at a zoo exhibit. Yeah, the whole, you get to watch. I was not a partier. I didn't go to high school parties. You must have felt like you were so above it. It was. I was. I, w- I was because I was literally on the literally raised platform, above it. <laughs> watching down at everybody, and I was there. Yeah. Uh, the, I was there the whole time, probably like four hours, however long Dude. the fucking party I was. I saw a Roblox and, YouTuber uh, drink an entire handle of Jack, like oh chug God. it, and then and then he said he was hungry and he grabbed a fake styrofoam apple off of the <laughs> table and he ate like he ate like I, I was like this is this guy is funny as fuck. He's taking bites out of this fake apple. Oh, and then he was chewing, and then he was swallowing. <laughs> and I was like, dude, give me that. I had, to, I had to rip it out of his hand. Dude. Oh, fuck. I just remember sitting there, man, and, and watching like, oh, that's just Michael Reeves, one of my favorite YouTubers of all time, just walked through the door, and he's just now in this house. Yeah. yeah. Dude, I, didn't, so I didn't have the nuts to talk to anybody. It was just like a weird, like... I think that was the I first was, time I, I saw was, Michael Reeves. I was talking with everyone, dude. I was talking to everyone I could. Yeah, anyone that I trust. trusted. Anyone that I trusted. Yeah. I, I was still there, no mask on, like, you know, shirt and, you know, black yeah. pants, dude, just walking around. Was, Nobody knew who I was. What was crazy for me going there was, you know, I was in the middle of my, like, college experience. So I'm coming from, yeah. like, broke college kid, going to fucking, you know, music department parties, like, where the fucking kids are playing guitars in someone's fucking shitty college housing house in Hell Ithaca, yeah. New York. And... Um, not that those weren't fun. Those were fun parties, but, uh, and we're going out and all of a sudden I'm in this fucking mansion where they've got these bottles of alcohol that are not like guns that are not Tito's. So I don't understand what I'm looking at. You know, it's not a fucking, it's not like, I don't know what what, what, we had like five kegs of beer. Uh, we had, I was remarkable. What I thought was remarkable was these crazy, fucking expensive looking vodka bottles. That I remember these. those. Yeah. Holy yep. fuck yeah, yeah, the weird yeah, the big shaped one. shit that Ryan was carrying around. Yeah, no, Ryan brought those out, and I was like, what the, the hell? The AK 47 was, was sick. Well, yeah. yeah but, oh, but, fuck, it was, it was an, an AK 47. Yeah, and they, and they threw it in the, in the fucking indoor water feature. They threw it in the pond, oh like God. the indoor pond. Oh, my God. It was, it was ridiculous. And I don't know if. And I think it was the no- the novelty of it. I mean, I'm sure something of that level could happen in the future or something like that. But it will never. Oh, if we be if we go to if like we go to Clutchstone again, yeah. We're, but it'll we're, never we're, feel we're the know. way that it did. No, to it me. will never feel the way it felt the first time. You know, it's like yeah. it's like losing your virginity. <sighs> yeah. No, I felt like you. <laughs> it doesn't like, hurt as bad the second time. I lo- I popped my cherry to the influencer world, and it was the misfits who were. Thrusting. I think I remember. They were the trip sitters. Yeah. I think I remember uh, like Lily and All Tribe doing a little uh, doing a little piano thing. They were, the yeah. No, they it had was the, very, yeah, the it was very pretty. They were like a bunch of they were like a little like a it bunch of different, different rooms different with different vibes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, um, that was but yeah, fucking awesome. When, when that party wrapped up, we kicked everyone out. It was the floors were were. It was just a layer. Irre- irretrievably sticky. Mm. Um. The, the the kitchen was destroyed. The the backyard there was broken glass and beer cans and and just it was garbage everywhere. <laughs> Ta- like tables were overturned. Shit was knocked off of shelves. Some fucking asshole stole my stole my uh, like my adapter wall plug with my jewel charger in it. Someone just fucking ripped it out of the wall and put oh, it in yeah. their bag. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> fucking piece of shit and um just like the one thing yeah. you need to be able to charge stuff while I you're thought, in america I, I thought i lost my helmet because like my helmet was was outside when everyone came in and i didn't know where it was turns out a good friend uh grabbed it and put it up in the in, in, my, in my bedroom and said yeah dude it's all good and i was like thank you man didn't you um, guys get like fucking kicked out of that place though okay is that allowed so, yeah yeah the next the next day 
Well, no, yeah. So the day after the party, the house was still felt fucking like it was destroyed. pretty soon after the so party had happened. It was really soon. Uh, so that morning, the lady who's behind the Airbnb walked through the door unannounced, and everyone is just sitting down tr- trying to figure out how we're going to clean it up. And she's like this. Mouth agape, I assume. If her jaw could unhinge like a snake and swallow everyone whole, she would have. Oh, my God. It I was, didn't hear about this, she, that that's how it, it, how she came no, in. That man, is she, like she a came fucking... In, she, she, and to get her attention, I think she kicked like an empty beer can or something. <laughs> We looked over and it just was just you hear the just the sound right. of aluminum uh, so rolling across the floor and you turn. Obviously, she was unhappy, but not just because we trashed her Airbnb. She was she was really miffed because she wasn't even meant to put this property on Airbnb. <gasps> what she wasn't she like it, it wasn't hers or she was a realtor. She didn't, what or something? <gasps> she didn't own. She was just a realtor. Yeah. She didn't own the place. I, well, it was something like that. She didn't actually own it, but she listed it on an Airbnb. Dude, she that is it would be a big deal. Hilarious. And and she was really upset. And she said like this needs to be cleaned up or this or that. And we. We ended up getting banned on Airbnb, but we can just make another account. That's no problem. It, it was, we had to figure out how to clean up the house in like a timely, orderly manner. And so, oh you know, we have our, our PAs, um, uh, Manuel and Chris, uh, brothers, two, two, two awesome the legends. Brothers, you guys probably the brothers. know. Them. You they wear jumpsuits a lot. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Russian, so, Russian. yeah, there, there's. You'll be delighted to know they're still they're still around. They're still alive and kicking. I still see them almost every day. Well, you know what's um, funny yeah. too is that you guys forgot a, a fucking camera that year, and I remember yes, it was like, it yes, was like, you had a ton no. of the footage on it. It was like Cooper and 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 Travis and those guys. Yeah, they they held, they, they, held they, they went to grab it. Yeah, they held onto it for a yeah year and a half. They ended up giving it back. Yeah. Sick. yeah, we ended up getting the footage off of it. It was, yeah, it was, fucking, dude, it was. Uh, so you have the footage <laughs> was, from that. Yeah, event. yeah. I think we had, I think we ended up using it uh, in the, in the, in the video, the, the TwitchCon, last TwitchCon moments, I think is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, but, but, but yeah, that was, it was good. So <laughs> I have Chris and Manuel, they're, uh, they're, they're Chilean. Right. So they, they, you know, they grew up speaking Spanish at home. They go right next door because they see, like, a, a bunch of cleaning ladies and, like, a van, and they were cleaning up the next door. They were, like, the maids working next door's house. The owners were away. So Chris and Manuel well go up to them, and they start talking to them in Spanish, you know, hey, how's it going? You know, straight, fluent Spanish. Hey, we have a party. Like, we'd be more than happy to pay you. Like, like you guys come amount. by, have a look. <laughs> yeah, an exorbitant amount. Um, actually, I think we only paid him a couple hundred dollars, but they got to keep all the leftover liquor. We gave him all the leftover liquor. <laughs> so it was bottles and bottles of Jack and vodka and tequila. You and, just and all gave them so like the were, fuck. They, That's dope. I mean, yeah, honestly, we, we gave, we gave, yeah, it was a great tip. They they cleaned the fuck up, dude. They 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 cleaned up the the floor is great. They 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 tidied it. They made it look not like uh, a complete fucking coke filled windmill fucking destroyed. So everywhere. was the lady who ran the air? Was she like? Did she see? Did you see her reaction to it get being cleaned? Or anything, or was it just like you're? No, you never talked to her again. She she kind she kind of left in a panic, <clears throat> and it was the last I've ever seen of her. <laughs> like you, uh, she couldn't yeah. be seen. She ran for the hills, dude. Yeah, She's dude, in yeah, Antarctica. She did. she did because she was she was the reason why she came was to discuss some um, noise complaints with the neighbors. So apparently, it was meant to be a quiet neighborhood. I don't know how the fuck that's a quiet neighborhood, man. It was right on a canal, and right across the canal, right across the street, there was there was a bunch of fucking like it looked like models like in bikinis, fucking doing a photo shoot, and they're screaming at us and cheering at us before we started the the party. We're like setting up, we're like waving at them, but like. Yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, it was Dude, really fucking I mean, loud. It was really loud. It was a really loud. I mean, I right in the water. That, like, that, how do you get a house and not expect that shit to happen? That in, party in broke like that. every rule in Airbnb's terms of service. Like that party was the yeah. most egregious display of like of of 
hedonism or is that the right word? Just like yeah. fucking yeah, doing sure, things yeah, for pleasure should, yeah, that I've absolutely. ever seen or I think will see for a long time unless you guys come back to TwitchCon. Like it was, yeah, dude, you know, we'll, we'll return. We'll return probably yeah. hopefully, TwitchCon this year, next year. TwitchCon this year for me was like very, very different. Like it was like, cause that year it was like, I was just sort of along for the ride. I saw the fucking crazy party and then that yeah. was sort of like, you know, it, and there was like the S&P live meets up and all that. But like this year it was like totally, totally different. Yeah. Because, Twitch, like, Twitch, uh, Twitch kind of fell off. Yeah. I mean, they were doing like weird things. Like they did a thing where, you know, they had a dream SMP panel that had like a, like a capacity of like 400 people. And I was like, yeah, they put them in a cubicle. Yeah, like they could have put them they, in a the glitch dude, theater. They, and I was they, like, they, dude, the fuck did they like, are they, are they, are they like trying to, to have people like get trampled yeah. and killed? Yeah, dude. I and don't understand. I don't understand. It's because you know, I, I mean, you can't put it all on Twitch. Those are just the fucking moron, out of touch event organizers that are yeah. like, oh, they're just a bunch of Minecraft kids. Yeah, they just don't take them seriously. They just put them in the fucking four hundred capacity place. Exactly. Yeah, like they could have easily we'll, fit we'll, them we'll, in the know, theater. We'll, we'll theater. get all these. We'll get all these YouTubers saying like we're popping ten years ago and put them in the giant theater. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I mean, the convention aspect of things, you know, I don't go to TwitchCon for the convention. I go to yeah. TwitchCon to, to, to see people. Yeah. You know, I and to party after, and, to, and to hang out or make videos. After my experience in the most recent one, not that I don't like meeting people who watch my content and stuff, but I think it's probably one of the last times that I will ever go to a convention where I don't have like some level of like a security thing or an escort or at least it is. more than just the normal partner pass because the biggest issue I was running into at TwitchCon this year was that I would try to get to the partner lounge which is where like the one place you can be in the convention center sure. and like chill and people and you know they mean well but they were camping the yeah, partner the lounge lounge entrance. Yeah. Um, you can't do that. It's, it's fucked up. <laughs> and so like I would try to enter the partner lounge and then, you know, there would be this. It's also it's funny because it's it's really polite. People will queue like they don't yeah, crowd but, me like I, I only experience people like lining up and queuing, which is funny. But then it made it seem like it was more people will look at you. And they'll be like, is he Ted Nivison? And then, and then everyone will yeah. just look at you. And then all it takes is one person with the courage, the muster, to come up to you and be like, hey, Ted, I'm a big fan. Can I take a pic? And oh, then, I mean, it was, every, it, it then, was crazy. Then a line out the door. Then a line out the door. Yeah, it was it's, crazy, too, because it was like, when, it wasn't just like, I, 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 I guess I hadn't really considered how much things had grown. Like, because VidCon wasn't as bad. But like TwitchCon, it's like I'm very, I'm very, very gaming adjacent. So it's like yeah, of course, a lot of people be, knew you'd, me you'd at TwitchCon. You'd be which very, I was not very used to. recognized. Yeah, it, it's one of those so, things, man. It was a big, it's a big shock. It, you know, the bigger you get, you know, the more dangerous it is making an appearance without actually like organizing it with with the organizers. Yeah, whenever whenever misfits go anywhere for DreamHack or or for PAX, I mean, dude, I'm wearing this shit like the whole time. I'm, As I'm wearing protection. The, the, yeah, his protection. Yeah, and and also just to make a statement, but right. it's you know my yeah, neck hurts a little. It, but it's one it, of you those, know, you, when you're wearing something like this, and then you're walking next to someone as tall as Fitz, and you're walking around a convention center, it it gets really unsafe really yeah. quick because everyone will just converge. You can't move, or you're trying to walk to a car, and then someone catches you. Can we take a picture? Yeah. And you know, I hate saying no. So I'll that's, be like, see, yes. that's what I was uh, dealing so with is, the, is I'll be, what I'll was be so like, hard. Let's do it. I'll be like, let's do it. We'll walk. We'll walk and take the pic, but we, I need to keep moving because as soon as you stay still, you get circled. Yeah. And unless yeah. you're moving with, with actual security, uh, they, they, they can, they can, you know, tell people off and be like, no, 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 you know, fuck off, go, go away. Like you, you, you're, you're trapped. You're yeah, so that's, trapped. That's the thing and that I was dealing a hazard. with. That's the thing that I was like dealing with a lot was that there were separate two, like three or like two or three separate times that I was trying to get into the party lounge. And then I would have this, I was, you know, saying hi yeah. to people who had lined up for 40 minutes on a couple separate occasions. But the funniest, most ridiculous circumstance that I had, because, you know, there are with the pass, with the partner pass, there's different, there's different levels to it too, because like you can mm -hmm. have a partner pass now with like a little purple star on it. And that's like, uh. it's like a VIP thing. So it's like, mm. oh, that means that you can get into the, and it's actually kind of fucked up because they've got like the partner lounge stuff and then they've got the purple lounge. And that one's got like not just stale pretzels and a fucking what? little catering tray. They've got fucking, oh, nice. they had like fucking horchata and a fucking what? thing. And the partner partner lounge? 
much. No, they had a partner I, I, I partner like to think They had fucking fruit with tahini on it. They had fucking tacos and wings and shit and, and had, fucking free the, snacks. The, it was fucked up, man. You had the affiliate lounge and it's just a fucking ball pit with piss in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. It's, it's just so, yeah. it was so ridiculous. But you were not cool enough to get the purple star, Ted. Well, uh-huh. I didn't, I didn't really tell. I, I could have probably tried to get it or something like that. But the advantage of that is that, you know, you get, an escort through the convention center and after that experience of you know because i think the biggest thing is that i have a really hard time saying no to people and i think in the nicest way possible you need to have another guy that can tell be the bad guy and say no i'm not going to be able to say no and i'm going to be stuck there for an hour because i was like three times it's exactly what the security is for i mean have you seen the twitch guy there was I don't even know the name of the streamer. I think it was a smaller streamer. It was a girl. She walked the floor uh, without proper security, and she got uh, swarmed. And some fucking weirdo oh, yeah, some licked, dude her, licked face. her face. Yeah, which what is the fuck. Which is which is like, it's dude, a, you're it's asking. A, it's you're, a it's like, issue. bro, it's <laughs> like, dude, you're asking for an elbow. Like you're asking for an elbow. Like, yeah. sh- like straight up. Like, dude, would you? Like, what would you do if you were in a Twitch guy and some dude licked your face? I, th- I feel like I th- I'd throw an elbow. I'd throw an elbow or two. Dude, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised because it would just be like, it would be a visceral reaction at the very least. And oh, right, just imagine someone, someone looks at <laughs> your face, just, just, ah! just get <laughs> like, fuck away. I think the most ridiculous like example of me just struggling with getting a buy with just a pass is that I wanted to go to the live Name Your Price, right? Uh. Um, and... Granted, I was a little bit late. Austin told us we needed to be there at 1.30 so we could go in through the special entrance. But, you know, I didn't have anything fancy on my bench. So I'm walking up to the theater and I'm like trying to figure out a way to get in. I'm talking to any Twitch employee. And I'm like, Austin, here's his Twitter circle. This is him telling us where to go. And they're like, I don't know, fucking know, man. And I'm trying to find my way around <laughs> while I'm being recognized by the massive line going into oh, Name no. Your Price. And oh. I eventually... You know, this is Austin's show. He's about to go live. I think I can only do this because I feel like I because Austin likes me. But I straight up called Austin. I was like, Austin, I need help. Like this is like twenty minutes before he goes on stage. Yeah, and then he like sneaks me in through this fucking entrance. But the most ridiculous part was when I wanted to exit. Name your price because you can look at this live. This is something that happened live where me, Shay, and Connor. We're going to leave to get lunch. We're going to meet the Bote sisters for lunch out out in the gas lamp district. Nice, and nice. yeah, it was going to be a good time. We get up, and it, it was a good time actually. We went to a nice place. But I get up and I start to exit through the you know the the aisles to just go out before yeah. the show ends, so we can kind of get moving, but so we don't get you know swarmed because I don't Swarm. have the ability to go through the special fucking fancy big boy exits. Dude, that is um, that is like a, a fucking big deal. Like but, that, that needs to get swashed the next time you go there. But get a get a get a purple star. I guess. What, what's funny though is that this is as they're announcing the 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 scores of of George not found, and he had a negative score and. And Austin, or an someone, idiot. someone goes, "Oh, this is like one of the lowest scores we've had on Name Your Price." And then Austin goes, "Well, actually, I think that one of the lowest scores was Ted Nivison. Where is he?" He turns. I'm <laughs> oh, in no. the aisle, standing up, and he's like, "There he is, Ted Nivison, right there in the hallway." And everyone turns as I'm exiting, and then he, and then, and then Will Neff gets what on the is. mic and he says. Ted, are you leaving right now? So oh, I have no. to be there. What and a I have bunch to pre- of fucking jokers. <laughs> like, <laughs> what uh, the so fuck? What a bunch of knuckleheads. I, I oh was my trying God. to leave discreetly, and I get called out from the whole audience that I'm leaving early. You know, it was almost over. It wasn't a it, huge it all, deal. It, it almost would have, like, like, dude, like, they might as well have just said, hey, you want to touch him? He <laughs> loves being touched. Give him a oh. feel. Like, dude. straight up. It was just it's so hilarious. funny because it was like, because it was like I was trying to be discreet. And then they just happened to bring me up in that moment. And I just happened to be in their view where they could call me out and bring the whole So audience. did you guys... Did you guys do any meet and greets while you were at TwitchCon? Did you do any, besides was, the impromptu ones, did you well, do any, like, actual officially sanctioned meet and greet? No, I didn't. It was less that I ever did a meet and greet and more that it happened to me. Right, right, yeah, right, right. it was something that yeah, occurred. 
in in what? my. Yeah. I, I'm really curious. What is the weirdest thing you've ever been offered to sign at a meet and greet? Hmm. Weirdest thing. I mean, there's like I feel like some people come in and they and they have weird things from the get go. Like there's, a, there yeah, but was like, this, I mean, you know, not just like titties. I mean, everyone signed a tit, right? Everyone here signed a titty. Well, tits aren't weird. I mean, they're that's like. A, <laughs> First time. So let it be known, Tucker. Tucker is never I signed not, a tit. I, I have not. Signed I haven't one signed either. a tit. I don't think I haven't that signed a tit. Greet. I don't no, think... man. I don't. I don't get. I don't do meet and greets. Dude, I don't do dude, conventions yeah. anymore. The weirdest bro. thing that I signed to answer your question though is is a little weird little shrunken baby doll thing that some that at least at TwitchCon I was like, okay, you nice, got a little nice. baby doll, and it looked like it had tattoos because there was already a bunch of shit. Oh, sick. The weirdest thing I signed happened literally a couple of days ago. This girl comes up to me. She goes, Swagger, I'm such a big fan. I go, hi, it's nice to meet you. Thanks for coming out. She goes, yeah, can, can you sign my antidepressants? <laughs> oh, I saw your tweet about that. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, That's sure. Awesome. And so she pulls out this, this fucking small pack of antidepressants, probably like 20 pills. There was only like two left. And I was like, wow, you're really, you're really chewing through these. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> I write my name on the bank, I give it back to her, and then everyone's fucking B reel goes off. And so like she's oh, like man. she's like she's like, Oh my god, can I do the B reel with you? And I'm like, Yeah, sure. And so I take the B reel, I'm flipping her off, and then it's her posing with the antidepressants. And then I made that tweet about it, which went like, well. fucking it popped the fuck off, dude. It popped off. And then she replied with the B reel of her holding the antidepressants, <laughs> being like being like, Yeah, I'm doing better now, which is sick. But yeah, that's, that's awesome. by far the by far the weirdest fucking thing I've ever signed at a convention. Yeah, I mean, I can't. I don't know if I can think of anything like. I mean, sometimes people want you to sign their shoe, which is always a weird thing yeah, to yeah, finagle, yeah, I, I especially because I'm fucking huge, and like some of these people are like four one. Um, so like, it's like, okay, do I have to break my back to like go down there to sign the no, shoe or whatever? Dude, 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 they, they, they're, they're meant to take off the shoe and hand it to you for you to sign. Well, some, of, like, some of these people weren't doing that. They were like, they, they would like, they would be so like, what? You, you're just like, oh, I guess I'm going to just fucking get on the floor and sign. You ask them, can you take your shoe off so I can sign it? Well, I just wanted that interaction to be over. So I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, dude, you got yeah, on your knees like Jesus knees Christ. Like Jesus no, I, was, I was just bending over and grab and signing the shoe. Oh man, I'm so glad I don't do any of this shit. I'm not. It's gonna fun, lie. dude. I actually nope. legitimately enjoy nope. the meet and greets. I like nope. going out there, I like shaking hands with people. I abuse the shit out of hand sanitizer. I, you know, hug people. I say hi. They let people knock on my helmet. It's like a, it's like a fun Pe little thing. You know, I like laying in my bed at home. Well, people ask me. People ask me when I go to these conventions, and they're like, "Is Schlatt here?" And I say, "No, Schlatt doesn't like these." It's what I, well, I yeah. must, was what I feel because <laughs> it's like you're completely candid about that too. I mean, it's like first time was <laughs> was the last time. Yeah, and uh, I will yeah, never, was, probably never was, do it again. It was that bad, huh? Yeah. Well, well, I just, I look the first, the first photo I saw of myself was, at was TwitchCon that, was, was that the uh, the S and P live stuff. Was that was that the, the yeah, that was around, was that around the time? Live. So was that yeah. around the time that Cooper had his water bottle, bottle stolen? Yeah, yeah, the water bottle. Somebody, yeah. I see, somebody I see, took I George see. Not Found's water bottle this year. I see how that would be a problem. Like why you wouldn't why you wouldn't have enjoyed yeah, that. And someone like the first photo I saw of me at TwitchCon was a photo of me from like ten feet away. Like I saw that before like anyone came up for a photo with me. Shit. Yeah, man. And, and like <laughs> I just I don't know. I it turned me off to the whole thing. Um I don't like large crowds of people. Uh and I'd rather just, you know, if I went to another convention, I probably would never set foot in the convention floor. It feels like the most fun part of these things is just hanging yeah. around people you you know oh, and enjoy it's, the company. And it's very yeah, fun yeah, to, to like see all these because it's like it brings a lot of people that you don't normally see all together at once, which I think is fun. Yeah. I am kicking myself that I didn't have any Buca de Beppo when I was in San Diego, though. I didn't have it once. Oh, man. The classic Buca de Beppo. Yeah, I know. The I know. titties in the bathroom. Yeah. My God. Yeah. But overall, I mean, good time. <laughs> what? And I, uh, wait, what? Uh, there's, art, there's some strange artwork. Here. Oh, yeah. oh, like yeah. it's all the mag. It's like the yeah. magazine, ah, the pinup okay. magazine cover bathrooms. Are yeah. you? Are we talking about? I feel like that was a different we bathroom. Went to one in 2019. 
Um, <clears throat> we went to the Buca de Beppo. I don't know if they have that in a bo- the family restaurant, Buca de Beppo. Yeah, you're telling me that might. they have fa- like pictures of yeah, boobies on the walls yeah, in the bathrooms. Yeah, yeah, fun for the whole fam. I think you're thinking of Buca de Bubo, dude. Buca de Bubo. <laughs> yeah, Buca de Beppo. I, think I don't know. Buca we went Bubo. to some place. We went to some place that was wacky. Before we ramp it up, if you want, can I let you in on one Misfits video? Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so Just sorry. One. We should. We should. We should be talking to you about what you do for. In your life, well, yeah, what, what <laughs> I've been doing you are a guest on the podcast. So the, I'm going to explain probably the biggest out of the three, the one that took the most uh, preparing, the most planning, and uh, executing. So you're going to reveal idea, this. You know how? Yeah, I'm, oh, I might as well. It's not going to. This probably isn't going to come out. Uh, this video until like November, okay. uh, like early November. Um, the, the the other two videos will come out this month. But, yeah, th- this last one is, is a big one. So you know how, like, uh, we're funny, right? The Misfits are funny? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. You might even say, like, we're comedians, right? Oh. Oh, oh well, that's you might even call us. Com- you might, oh, yeah. We thought that, too, until uh, we were offered um, to produce Dude. a stand-up, stand-up special. God. Oh, so we man. all... So it was. So the idea is that each misfit has been assigned a uh, like like a like like an Australian uh, famous comedian. Right. Well, obviously, people that we could work locally with. So we had like Louis Spears, Luke Kidgel, Frenchie, you with the Auntie Donna Ruben. Boys? No, not them. <laughs> not them. But, uh, but 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 a couple other like actual stand-up comedians. And so the idea is that it was me, Fitz, Toby, and uh, Zuckles. And we each got assigned to a comedian, and we had to write, uh, workshop, and then perform a that sounds like awesome. A, a five minute stand up special. Oh, that's um, a long time. That's a five long, minutes was that's a, a while. long set for your first set. Yeah. Oh shit! It's it is, and so we had like booked out this 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 venue. It was completely packed. And then it was Fuck. like the the idea of the video is that it's like the three or four weeks lead up to to us doing the special. Oh my and god! And so it shows us workshopping with the comedians, coming up with the jokes, working on delivery. Dude, it was m- memorizing my my set was was hell on earth. It was because I think I had the longest set by far. I think mine was close to like eight or nine minutes performed. Ooh, right. It was uh, it was it was it was fucking long and it was nerve wracking and I really hate being on stage and I really hate performing on stage and the fact that it's stand up comedy as well is a you know if you fuck up or you say the punchline first there's no takesy backsies okay right. you're on you're on the fucking yeah. stage and you either bomb or you kill. Um, so how many and, of you guys did you guys all bomb? No, 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 we all did really well. I think we all. I think everybody said was was uniquely funny. It was very. It was like uniquely I mean, their style. Uh, everybody said was different. Um, everyone said was a little different. Mine was pretty fucked up. I had a pretty fucked up set, but it, people were laughing. People were really enjoying it. That's great. Um, I mean, that's that's fucking awesome. That is was, something that I've wanted to try out for a while. Like I don't know if you know, it's Noel it's Miller. But I've chatted yeah, with Noel Miller does great, great stand up. I've chatted with him about my interest in doing stand up. So whenever I fucking see the guy now, and you know, I honestly, it's really cool of him to do this because it really kind of lights a fire under my ass a little bit. Every time I see him now, he'll always be like, "So, uh, you done any open mics lately?" And I'm like, and I have uh-huh. to give him an explanation <laughs> about why I haven't done a fucking open mic or anything yeah. like that yet. But I, I mean, that's great. I mean. Do you think you would ever do it again? Uh, well, we're getting a hashtag because people are talking about, you know, maybe doing, you know, live shows where we do stand up more or we do, we do other kind of shit. Um, man, I don't know. It was it was like a really stressful experience. It was three weeks of writing, like almost every day, spending an hour writing. Um, yeah. I didn't really have time to record. I didn't have time to stream. I was just hyper focused on getting this right. Um, do you feel like it was you, just, you, were you satisfied with your performance? I, dude, I was beaming, dude, beaming after I was, I, I was on like adrenaline and just like, I, I felt like I was high as fuck. Um, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was crazy. It was like the wave of relief 
uh, yeah. mixed with the adrenaline and then like the feel good mm. chemicals that you've done well. Yeah, some endorphins. Uh, Serotonin. You know, and I was last, dude. I was dead last in the set. I was I was the last person before. I had to follow everybody else. Well, they were also and warmed up though. They were yeah, juiced. They were, they were, they they were, were a little juice. They were, they were a little juice. They were they were happy, man. They were they, the, the, the all the people that came out and enjoyed the fuck out of it, it was sold out. Uh we we were under the impression, you know, because nobody really wanted to do the video originally because of how fucking scary stressful it, it, it yeah. was gonna be and how scary it was gonna be. And so, you know. Our team was like, all right, man, it's only going to be 80 people. We're camping it at 80 people. You guys can do 80. And was it like, your guys' hey, audience that showed up? Was it like, hey, yeah. Misfits is doing yes. something? Yes. Well, that's yes, kind of yes. nice because then at least it, it, it you helps. know. Yeah. yeah you, you know, know, you know they're, they're, the audience they're, they're, is going to be. They're, 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 they're on your side. Yeah, you know. they're on your side. They want you to do well. But regardless. But was it 80? So Lewis Spears is opening up the, the show, right? So he's he's opening up the, the show. And I'm backstage. Every other misfit is in the green room uh, with the door closed, but I'm backstage. And I'm like, can I take a peek at the crowd? I want to see how many people showed up. And everyone's like, no, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. I'm like, okay. Because the, the, their their thing was like, if they see you, they'll freak out. And we, we're, we're filming right now. We're doing the opening. Just, just stay behind here. I'm like, okay. Louis Spears is doing his opening set. He's one of the crowd. And he goes, yeah, misfits are about to come up out, out onto the stage. You know, this is their first time doing stand up, and then I hear the crowd go, "Oh!" And then, and then they go, "Yeah." They they think they're and they think they're coming out to eighty people, and then I hear like <laughs> I hear a roar. The venue shakes like a roar what? of laughter. And then he goes, "Yeah, there's more like three hundred no. and fifty." And then and they all start laughing, and and I turn to uh, Ryan and and Straub. Uh, uh, Schreiber Mitchell, uh, one of our editors, cameraman, he's holding the camera, he's looking at me, and I, and I go, you fucking assholes! And, 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 and they were like, dude, shh, shh, don't tell anyone, don't tell anyone. And so Fitz didn't even know it was packed until he was halfway through his set on stage, and then he realized the, the entire venue is fucking packed. Wow, it was, and it was a crazy. huge venue. It was like, you look out and you see like the first five rows completely packed, but then you see silhouettes every one of the backgrounds. So it was was like it a, like a oh. comedy club thing where uh, there was tables and seats, or was it fucking theater yeah. style? Comedy club. Excuse me. Yeah, comedy club. So was this part of your set too? Was this part of the burping thing? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you what were the that. vibrations? How did, how did all the guys feel after the show? Dude, good, 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 good. Yeah. And, Every single person that did the stand up that day, so me, Fitz, Toby, and Zuck, dude, we did we did very well. Everyone said was a little was was very different in subject matter and the humor, uh, in, in what they were trying to convey, you know, their bits that they were doing. Um, it, 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 everyone was uniquely theirs, and they killed in their own way. There wasn't a single bomb across the table. That's fucking awesome. But, uh, but it was it was a hell of a show, man. It was. Uh, you know, just just fucking memorizing like six or seven minutes of lines. Like I would, I filmed, I recorded myself saying the whole set, and then mm. I listened to it on repeat for five hours a day for like a week, and then Fuck. by and then by you know and and every single there was there was no empty like there was no white noise in my head. Whenever I wasn't thinking about something, I'm running through the lines in my head. I'm trying to know them by heart. I'm trying to get it down to like just a fucking T to where as soon as I go up on stage, I'm going to be able to recite everything top to bottom and be good. We all had notes. We looked at notes occasionally, but 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 it was it was a lot of stress, man. The, the, the day of um, fucking eat like uh, an Aaron Chini ball, like right, like, like, like to start my day. I, I, I cook some food and I was like, yeah, I need something heavy, I need something that'll stay in my stomach. And so I eat that, which is just deep fried rice, meat, and cheese, which is f yeah. not good for, yeah. for an anxiety <laughs> stomach. Yeah. And uh, I get a call from my friend from back home. And I've been talking with my friends from back home, shooting them my material and, and trying to get like their their take on it. And they're like, yeah, it's good, it's good. And then so I'm talking with my friend Joe from back home. And he's like, hey, man, you know, what's going on? You're doing your, you're doing your comedy thing today? I hope it goes well. And I'm like, dude, I'm really nervous. I'm really nervous. He's like, hey, well, to ease your nerves, why don't you just recite your material? Just just, just do your set. And I was like, yeah, no, that's a good idea. I get halfway through the set, and I, and I start gagging. And I, I just put the phone down. I go to the bathroom. I throw up. And, oh, um, fuck. And then I go back to him with tears in my eyes, just threw up. And he goes, man. 
are you going to be okay? <laughs> the best thing like, to say to someone who's a bit just a bit nervous. Yeah, dude, I hope you don't I, have I was a panic like, attack yeah, up there. I was like, yeah, Man, I was you like, sound like things know. aren't going to go really well at all. <laughs> and it was so yeah, I threw up maybe two more times that morning, and uh, then went to the went to the venue. I'm at the venue, freaking out, just just super nervous. Toby's up up on stage doing a like running through her material with her comedian. And her comedian's like mm-hmm. flashing lights in her face and like making noise and heckling so that she's like, you know, it's meant to be like a like a boot camp, like right before the show. Right, and he pulls yeah. out like this fake cap gun. It's like a nineteen eleven, but with no orange tip. And he points it at her, like, Yeah, 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 you're gonna, you know, do do the sad or or you die, whatever. They they finish their bit. He goes to put the gun away, I go out to him, I go, Hey Mark, could can, can I can I hold that? And he was like, he was, and he was like, yeah, sure. And I held it. And as soon as I held this fucking gun in my hand, dude, like, even though it was fake, it had the heft and weight of a real one. All my anxiety it went away. Like I felt. What? It, what the I, fuck like, are I don't you know, talking I don't about? know what it is. I held, I held this, I held this yeah. fake, I held this you fake held gun. gun. I held a fake gun in my hand for like that, the. That calmed your nerves? <laughs> immediately. I felt in control. I felt safe. <laughs> Like you're joking, but it's so real. It's so real. Hey, you held you held it for the entire set that so you did was, on stage. So it actually, it, you know, I wanted a fake gun for a couple of bits during my set, so it actually worked out perfect. Uh, so oh. I had it, I had it out of my pocket here. So just just the the handle hanging out, and I walked on stage with it. I I took it out and brandished it for like a bit, and then. All the way at the end, I flagged the entire audience and told them to put up their hands and raise their hands and then wave their hands around. And then I did something silly. Well, put a bullet through someone's head. No. No, it wasn't that. Shot, you, you, uh, uh, you start jerking off on stage? No, no. Uh, no, and, I, and and before you started you jerking no, off in a water no, bottle, swing no, it around no, with no. some water, and call it a product. Fuck you, man! It's a delicious <laughs> beverage, and you know what? It, it's coming out soon. No, I, uh, well, that's I, I mean, that's... I may, I may have, uh, I may have done a little. Whoa! Oh shit! Wait, really? wait! Yeah, d- during the show, is is that? Were they rec- no, well, no phones or anything. No one was. No, was everyone's recording. everyone's phone was in the bag. Everyone's hands Damn. were up and moving. I was pointing oh, a gun at the crowd, wow. so even if someone great. wanted to sneak something from behind and uh, and not get caught, they wouldn't have been able to look at shit through the sea of hands. And it was only for like half right. a second. But no, dude, wow. it was thunderous. It was That's like awesome, man. the the entire crowd thunder. Like it was probably like a two minute like standing ovation and cheering and people losing their <laughs> of, fucking minds of them just uh, being able to just get a just, glimpse at your face, dude. There, wow. there, there were there were there were a bunch of there, Fuck, were, there were there were a bunch of fucking legends that were uh, front dude, row. They were dude. front row, front row looking at me, and I did that and I looked at them and dude, they jumped out of their seats and they were like hugging each other and like jumping around like like little kids. It was it was crazy. Wow. But yeah, yeah that, a little, you a know what treat. that reminds me of? That reminds me of the the live podcast you guys did when we were in Australia. Yeah, dude, in the, back in, the, in 2019, the, yeah. right? Like the weekend after TwitchCon, yes. I just, we just flew to flew to Australia, hang out we, with you guys. That one kid, there was, there, who it was, you, a, who we took it was back. A, it was a 12 year old kid who I think he asked like a like we did a Q and A at the end, and he asked something that was just stupid, and uh, yeah. I think somebody like. It poked a little bit of fun at him, and his dad was drinking at the venue, so he was his dad was mad. His dad was yeah. pissed off, and so he was complaining to us. and And I was like, "Hey, man, you know, I, you know, we, we can do like little mean greet, take photos with him backstage or whatever." And so he comes backstage and he takes photos with everyone, and he's like, "Thanks, everyone. It was so nice to meet you." And I was like, "Hey, kid!" Man. And he looks at me, and I just pull I down my, I just pull down my face, and then I pull it back up. And he, wow. dude, he, he, he jumped up. His eyes were wide. He ran out, screaming, "I saw his face! I saw his face!" And and I and I, I think I told him like nobody's going to believe you or something, and you, nobody you did. did. You yeah. said no one will ever <laughs> believe yeah, yeah, you. No one will ever believe you. <laughs> Fuck, man, that was and, uh, that's such that's a big so, memory from dude, that trip. Yeah, so out. funny too to just be able to show someone your face and just yeah. be like. No one will ever yeah, no, believe yeah, no you. No one will. And like, no one will. and like, <laughs> he didn't have any evidence. Like, he just works from the split second of memory or something. He'd have to go. Yeah, to he's, the he's like, cops. he's like, yeah, he, he goes, yeah, like, I saw him. You know, he's 
you know, they saw him. He's got, he's got like a nose and a mouth and like he's got facial hair. And just like, <laughs> well, that narrows it down. That's great. Damn. Wow. So cool. Big yeah, question yeah. for you, Swagger. Would you do it again? Um, if if all the stories aligned and like everyone's phones were away and it was like similar circumstances, because that bit was going to be like the end, the end banger of my set. Like it was going to be like the, the the huge, whoa, like holy shit, like yeah. this is it, you know, kind of part of my set. And it was either I stopped my set, like fine, and then I didn't do it if if I thought that people had their phones out. But once I was confident that everyone had their phones away and I could do that raised hair, raised right, right, arm, right. hands moving bit, I was like, yeah, this is fine. Was like, yeah. Up maybe half a second. But yeah, it was enough for people to like kind of see and freak out. Yeah, that's fucking that's a dope. good way to do it. it Even is, bigger it question. Even bigger question, Swagger. Uh-huh. Would you rather have unlimited bacon, but no more video games? Or... Would you rather have games, unlimited games, but no games? Unlimited games. Interesting. Yeah, what, that's, what, a, that's uh, a weird. Is there like a. Did you get this question before? This might have been before. So we either get so okay, maybe I'm misunderstanding. So either I get yeah, either it I get like dry, unlimited yeah. bacon. So say like I have a bag and I keep pulling out yeah. like the perfect crispy bacon strip from well, it. Well, probably it, be it, more like a satchel. Can I just? All right, sure, a satchel, a little messenger bag, a little maybe? messenger bag. Yeah, like yeah. one of those that like someone who like wears like something like glasses. a like a like a like a Starbucks metro sexual. Yeah. 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 yeah sure. Yeah, bacon um, every time. Yeah. You know, but you no open games up the bag, for that. But yeah. no games. No games yeah. ever? No, ever. None. None left. I would take the games. But I don't think, Ted, I don't, I don't know if he. I, I don't know, the, but you wouldn't have question. any of them. Yeah, look, look, I'll, I'll say mean, it one more I, time. What do you mean would I wouldn't? You, would you rather, yeah. Swagger, have uh-huh. unlimited bacon? Unlimited no bacon. More, no more games. But no more or games. Games. Would you rather have games? Games. Un, unlimited games. Unlimited games. But no games. But but no games. I feel like it's pretty cut and dry what he's trying to tell you right now, and I feel like it's. And I said crystal. it. I said it this exact way. I the feel first like time. he's being crystal clear. I go with the games like a diamond. I go with the games. Why would you go with the games? It's unlimited games. But it's not games. But you get none of them. That's the question. But there, it's unlimited, so surely I keep just getting them. Yeah, but there's none of them. There's none. Yeah, in this but, but 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 in the scenario they, they they'd be unlimited. Yes, but also non-existent. But for the bacon, I just don't understand why he wouldn't take the bacon. Yeah, it's just like it, it's 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 like a source of protein. It's an unlimited source of protein. Yes. I, it, but I, then everyone's going to be asking me for bacon. Yeah. If you had unlimited games, you'd have the same would problem. You imagine, would so you imagine no if games. I revealed to Twitter my satchel of unlimited bacon? They would say, why aren't you going to Africa with that, asshole? Why aren't you going to Ethiopia with that, asshole? Well, because it's my fucking bag and it's my fucking bacon. I'll do whatever the fuck I want with it. Fair enough. So you're, you're taking the games? I'm taking the games. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. That's fucked up, man. Well, That's crazy. thank you so much, Swagger, you, for coming on uh, the Chuckle Sandwich podcast I said for the trends. fucking third I said trends. time. Monkey statue, third. monkey nut statue, I said that Fuck trend. you for that, NF- by the way. NF- Fuck NF- you for that. NFT of me, by the creator Fuck. of the monkey statue, I said the trend for that. Fuck he you did. for buying that fucking <laughs> statue I, and not telling me for a year straight, bro. That's fucked that is up. A, that is, That's it's fucked crazy. Up. It's crazy me that you did that. It's crazy me that you didn't Schlein. take the bacon, Schlein. you idiot. Schlein, what you, you didn't come, take what, the Schlein, bacon. Schlein, when are you coming to Australia, yeah. huh? When are you going to come to Australia, huh? Why, why aren't you asking me that question? I reckon it'll be soon. Why can't I yeah. also get that question? Why you asking? Okay, well, okay. Oh, I, reckon I'll, I reckon I'll be coming real soon. Oh. Co-host, when, when, when are you going to come as well? Dude, I'll come anytime <laughs> you want, anywhere you want. I'm coming right now. And I'll come I'm straight to you. Oh. And I will lay tribute in your name. <laughs> but no, for real, uh, Schlatt, you know, if you come down, maybe, 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 you, maybe I'll let you look at the statue. 
Huh? Dude, that's so nice of him, Shot. That's so it kind of you. Let me, you would you let me touch his nuts? I'll let you touch his I'll let you give him a little tickle. I'll, 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 I'll let you fondle the scrot a little. I've done a, I've done a lot of fondling of my own, you know. So. Hell yeah. Well, thank you very much for having me on the Chuckle Sandwich Podcast. Thanks for being yeah. here. Of course. We'll see you next week. Yeah. <laughs> see you next week, Swagger. <laughs> Bye.